Spruce, What's going on, everyone? I actually just put the box someplace safe and then Don't. I forgot where I put it. <laughs> no! Prop failure. Hey, Gary. Hey, by the Everything. way, Ian, this idea of, of painting the little numbers red. Oh, yeah. That's a huge time saver. I'm glad Chase. it helped. It's easier when the kit's all white. Yes. The black parts, you have to use like silver paint, you know? Yeah. But that works as well. Throw some, the hey Gary. There. Hey, hey Gary Chase. And, and Chase. What's up? Guys? Oh my God. Okay. So we're Have on an episode, excess of earwax going on we're here. On episode four. So since I uh, let's see, where's everybody at? I think I'm, I'm just now going to start bending a, a building uh, the rest of the cockpit tube. I'm all over the place. I'm I got I've gotten nothing done. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm working out the uh, the cockpit the. Uh, the console lights to light up the uh, the front console. So I figured out the positive and the negative on these harnesses, um, which are the total opposite of the colors that these harnesses came in. But whatever. I will know. So that one's positive. That one's this. Where's my... Oh, let me go on my, my, new, my new electronics and soldering drawer down here. Oh, you know, I happened. saw this. I saw a guy doing this, and I thought it was such a good idea. Is that he breaks the bill down into sections and he writes down the sprue number? Oh. Wow. So like this section I need the UWJ sprues. And then this section starting here I need C D I and W. Oh. Love that. That's great. I love that idea. So here's J. And one of the W's. These are not Working as I Todd. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> I told you I was going to throw goodies in there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when you can it... throw that in your Falcon and solder it in and let's make some lights. Dude, oh. yes. He sent you an Arduino. Yeah. I sent, I sent him a little nano. That is awesome. Thank there you. you. Yeah. We're gonna... Now open that up. There's even more inside. There's goodies inside goodies. Oh my goodies God. inside goodies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, I, oh, I, I, that. I sent him the soft flexible dental picks. <laughs> they did. <laughs> I sent him a few I sent him a few he can try with his resin windows. Thank you. That is fantastic. I love it. That's fantastic. Thank you. Uh I'm gonna be uh finishing working on the mandible. I'm gonna throw in the headlight in today doing my first official lighting on any model today so wait, wait you've minute. never lit a model before uh not like so i've done like stuff way back in the day with uh god it was some really early fiber optic stuff but that was like probably 30 years ago yeah but you're you're lighting your enterprise c 
I am, but I haven't actually officially gotten to putting power into it yet. Oh. Yeah. So, okay. oh, sweet. <laughs> and a smaller oh. <laughs> oil bottle. Yes. Hey, Dave. Here I am. Dave. What's Hi, up, Dave? Dave? Hey, guys. Ah, it's time to get rid of the weird layout. Hey, Steven's here. Howdy. Hey, Keith's are. here. Welcome aboard. Keith. Welcome, welcome. And everybody's saying hi to each other in the comments. We like, yeah, you mingle about your 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 business, guys, and listen until one of us says "ow" or "damn it," and then look up quickly, <laughs> and you'll miss it. Pay attention. We screw up a lot. So oh, I speak for myself, but uh, scripts do happen. I've made plenty of scripts. Very mm -hmm. cool. They do occur. Yeah. Okay, so we've got an LED working off of this new four-pin harness. Nice. So we have those two empty ports. So two white LEDs I'm going to run into the, uh, the center console in the front of the cockpit to light that thing up. And then... Then... And then... No and then we have two more lights. We have two more wires here to run the uh, the headlights on the front of the mandibles. I love saying mandibles. Does everyone else really enjoy saying mandibles? I enjoy saying mandibles too. Yeah. I love saying mandibles. Um, these are going to be the headlights on the front of the mandibles. Um, on the front of the what? The oh, you, you know the 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 thingies, the pointy the bits. Yeah, the mandibles. That's it. I forgot the word for a second. Um, <laughs> We just lost two viewers. Damn it. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> hey, Darth. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I just have one LED off of each. I don't want to overload this little stock factory box necessarily. Um, I'm not doing anything crazy like some of the other guys might. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Well, by the time we get to the end and the engines, I might change my mind. Todd always But you know what? Me. We do, thanks to a plethora of st studio model pictures that I found. Uh, we do have confirmation that the New Hope Mount Falcon did have headlights. They just were not used in the film. Oh, really? Yeah. The Fantastic. Had, had, had the headlights. It just, I yeah. don't know in the there film. There could be, were, uh, you know, after the model were... was modified for Empire hey, Strikes Back. I don't care. Too. Either they were used <laughs> in the show and they're there now. I don't care. They're there. Yeah. So well, I'm, put, that's, I'm that's putting that's headlights on mine. Dash. That's what I'm sticking to. Are you gonna put the two little small whites in the uh, in the middle? <laughs> in the the middle two little what? where? Oh, inside the inside the cavity in the man b between the mandibles. Yeah, between the mandibles. Uh, Dash, good luck on your uh, fan home build tonight. Yes, don't glue yourself to anything. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm putting like no, I don't think so, Donnie. Should I? I'm going what, to. What were they? They were what just lights. Were they red, white, white? I don't know. They're yeah. I mean, I'm I'm already making this model more complicated which, than it needs to be. Which lights are we talking about? Apparently, there's two lights in between the mandibles in that little cavern, that little the little clamp that would clamp yes. onto cargo pods. Yes, that is true. There was a couple of lights in there. Um, yes. I'll take everyone's word on that, and I don't think I'm going to be adding them. Um, I haven't even got to a mandible yet. So what about the start. engines? What's our what's 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 the pole on oh, the engines here? Oh, I am COB here? lighting that thing. Same. I was thinking about if I could figure out how to do it using uh, Neo Pixels. Ooh. Oh, are you going to do addressables? Yeah, if I can figure out how to address them. <laughs> Will you um, address them like Mister and Mrs. No. Mr. Hey, and Mrs. NeoPixel. Please come on. Yeah, really. Hey, guys, who needs uh, four-pin harnesses? <laughs> I now have two bags of these things. I don't know what <laughs> I'll ever use them all for. Yeah, I'll put some... I'll, I'll leave them out so I remember to put some in some envelopes and... Uh, envelopes and stamps. And mail them out. You know, I'm not oh, going to spend $250 on FedEx overnight. You may you may all notice that Steve is not here. Steve uh, was injured, yes, uh, and he is re in recovery, and he will return. Yes, um, 
Uh, we should all give him a pass. So if, when he gets better, he can, you know, spend Steve, a few hours working on his thing off screen. Steve is allowed to make up at least two hours per missed session yeah. in building yep. time. All and uh, yeah, so let me see here. I've got. He's probably watching. He's just. Yeah, Steve, if you're watching, get better, my man. That's twelve volt blue cob strip. Blue. This is twelve volt better, also. Steve. Take good yeah, care see, of you, that, Katrina. That, that sucks. That's a nasty hit to take. Right? Ted, what are you oh, doing? Right Five on, volt? Right on, his, right on his butt. Oh, yeah. Right on the on the coccyx. On the coccyx, the tailbone. That hurt that. like a... Oh, my, I did it once in my life. Never. It's so painful. Yeah. It's so friggin' painful. It, hey, I Tab, did like, that one time. You, know you, you know how when you do that and it feels like you just instantly became two inches shorter? Yep. Oh. Yeah. The I pain. did that one time going out the back door. The back steps were solid ice, and I just kind of went boom, boom, boom. Oof. How'd that Damn. go? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Tom strip five millimeter blue. Todd, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Hell yeah, man. Tom strip. Oh, you guys got you guys do mail call and show show the parts off now. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> You got to make yourself big because my hands are full of photo edge. Yes. I got it. Thank you, sir. Uh, so Todd hooked up, uh, hooked me up with the uh, paragraphics, the uh, the photo edge set for the cockpit. My fat fingers are not going to allow for fine detail work, so that's going to be uh, one hundred percent awesome. So I think there's that a lot is... in there. I think it has engine grills and it has gun engine parts. grills. It has the. Um, the uh, landing uh, part of the landing I gear. I don't think it has engine grills, does it? I thought it did. No. Open it up. Open it up and find out. It's pretty thick for what it is. If it's just that. It's just that um, one sheet. Really? It's just one sheet. Uh, I All did right. just open it up. It does have really nice uh, decals. Decals. <laughs> <laughs> and it has uh, light films to go over those little bar lights inside the cockpit. It does. Yeah. So it's got light films and all that. Um, <laughs> But uh, it does have the landing gear stuff here, which is super cool. And then... Um... Decals. Okay, Von Jordan. <laughs> Decals. Uh, I've, I've infected him yep, with the no, decals. I, it's, I, I can't get it out of my head. It's ridiculous. Uh, Todd hooked me up with an Arduino Nano. Uh, we're going to be light. You know, I didn't look in the box. Oh. Is it in there? It I is, grab, yes. I have a whole bunch of them here on, a, on the shelf, and I didn't even check to see if it was inside the box. Yeah, and uh, there are some of the uh, connector pins as well, so that's perfect. Okay, good. That's awesome. Good. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to be lighting this bad boy. I almost awesome. never use those connector pins. Yeah, I, I've I've been watching. I've been trying to learn. Uh, a lot of my time lately has been spent just watching different. Like, I picked up a power supply for my uh, workbench and all of that. So oh, like, nice. That comes yeah. in handy, super handy. It, the thing is, is like, if you're gonna do it, you got to do it all the way through, and so that's where a lot of the money has funneled into, so to say, is like, okay, well, if I'm gonna light my ships, then I need a power source. So should I get a just bunch of different power connectors? Blah, blah, oh, blah, dude, blah. I just had a battery for a long time. <laughs> that's what I was thinking, but then I'm like. In the end, it they're like 35 40 bucks, and so I picked one up, and it worked. It, it works great. Um, I'm just figuring out this morning how to do it, and so I'm ready to start actually lighting. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, you that's use pretty that, cool. You will use a benchtop power supply constantly. Oh, yep. I use mine right. all the damn it, time. It, I use it pretty much every time I'm on. I'm using it right it's now. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we have a resin tub for the cockpit. Um, Whatever you do, do not drop that. <laughs> I, I have, I'm very carefully holding on to it because I'm a klutz. Uh, I've so. gotten all kind of 3D printed parts from Shapeways before and never had a problem. I dropped that part one time and split it in half. My goodness. Did you order another one or just glue it together? I just glued it together. There yeah. And then, yeah. It's very brittle. We have the clear... Where is it? Um, what oh, is it? I primed it so you can't really oh, tell. Oh, the cockpit. That's the cockpit. The cockpit, the control, yeah. The control exactly console. The, uh, yeah. the console. Yeah, that's, the console. that's the one that, that uh, didn't, isn't that the one that you have, Donnie, that you uh, drilled an extra hole in for an extra LED? I did. Yeah, so I you drilled too. an extra 3.5 down here. Just three. Three millimeters. Three. Just three. three millimeters exactly. Perfect. All right. Cool. Um, you know what? If you want, Jordan, uh, if you're looking yeah. for 
So USA Gundam Store uh, throws a lot of 15, 20% sales. They might actually yeah. have one right now. <clears throat> they have this set of, oh, I'm not big. You're okay. Um, that said, uh, and then Todd also real quick. He, uh, Oh, wow, look at that. With a much smaller uh, oil container. Mine is... Like a foot tall? Gigantic. Yeah, that's, I, I bought that one, one also. <laughs> so that's uh, that's my little uh, mail call. Very nice. Nice. Donnie? Donnie. You also received overnight parts from Japan? I, I mean, did. Arizona? Here you go, Jordan. Oh, sweet. So, so I just drilled this around. other hole back here and put a second yeah. LED in it. Love it. Be careful drilling the bottom of the tub, though. That's very fragile and brittle. It is. Okay. Very, very It'll fragile. Crack. It'll crack. you got to basically go at it with, like, more well, of a sanding than a drilling. It. Ooh. Yeah. It's split all the way down through there. Okay. By the way, the black super glue will not stick this together. Interesting. I thought what that stuff use? stuck everything together. It would not stick that together. I tried like four times. Would not stick. I got the regular super glue out, popped it together one time, done. Hey, Donnie, <laughs> what part of your uh, console did you mask off? <clears throat> um, I painted everything but the top surface. <coughs> oh, the side everything... wings too? Or no? I left the, the top surface. Okay. And just the front you painted silver. The front I painted of the, top. the sides and the bottom. Okay, the front. Cool. Well, no, this part right here has a photo edge that goes on, and it's got some lit up parts in it. Oh, okay. Okay. I just want to know what I have the mask off. I just off. painted this little edge right here. Yeah, what's that crazy other part you got sitting on your desk there? Ah. Oh, God. Mail call. The end of Donnie. Mail call. Yeah. Mail call. thanks to Todd. Oh, you got it off the sprues. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Right? That this looks be, awesome. This will I be the end of Donnie. Good. And the cool <laughs> thing is, he Did actually designed the, in little slots and a little tab that yeah, fits yeah. together. Yeah, the sconces. Sconces. And, did you? I gave it. I sent you the, the sprue that has the sconces on it, right? You did. I just haven't opened it yet. Okay. All right. I was gonna say. I think that's in the other bag. It's got all the. Yeah, because they're tiny. They are. I mean, they're like the the head of a pin. They're so small. <laughs> Look at these. Hmm. You're gonna love oh my these. God. You're gonna love them. Hold them up close. Oh God! Wow. That's the yeah, sconces. Gotta... The two little rows in the fifth, fourth and fifth row, or second. What is that? Third and fourth row. Those are the actual pins of the light. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> wow. The square parts go in the holes on the corridor, and these go through the holes in the square part. Yeah. So you light the you light the square and leave the, the center plugged. Oh man. That's so cool. I also bought. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. Some oh, little yeah. CPC focus on R2-D2s. Yeah, so, so you're going to have to send the ones you don't use to Steve. So he, yeah. can, his, so he can do his, his R2-Q5 and everybody. But be very careful removing them from the base. Ah, Steve will glue it together. <laughs> I killed an R2. <laughs> but I took this 3PO... And cut his arm off and glued it back on so he could be standing there with his he hand on R2's head. Oh, cool. You sure, you sure it's You know, not like Luke's the classic lap. pose. No? Nothing? Huh? What? Crickets? Crickets? What'd you I say? Said, I didn't hear it. I said, so his hand is not in, in, in Luke's lap? What is going on? Right. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. Oh, and there's dear. There's a little R2. Can't really see anything. It's all white. That's it for the Falcon mail call. I got these, yeah. but they have nothing to do with the Falcon yet. <clears throat> oh yeah, mine, cool. mine, mine just shipped. I'm looking forward to burning down the house with some of those. Oh, I do have these. What, what the heck the are those? those? Those are the little no. red lights the, on the bottom. Those are the landing lights. Oh, Ooh, sweet. Oops. I took those out of the bag and I was like, is that right? Those are tiny. But that's it for mail call. Anybody else have a mail call? No. Nope. Nope. 
Not really. Nope. Hmm. I'm very excited to be starting on the mandible here so shortly. Mandible. Something. Pretty excited about it. <clears throat> so all of this plastic has to come out. Good. Oh, interesting. Oh no, these are not. Dad, what are you using? Five volt cob strip like this stuff? The stuff we bought, the 2.7. That stuff will work great. Oh, that thin little 2.7? Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't have to use that. <clears throat> I mean, you have some. Don't you have some three or five? I, I do. I have some. Uh, I have this. I think this is five millimeter. It's nice and dense with the lights. It's five volt, though. <clears throat> I came really close to getting my the 3D printer stood up today. Oh, came close was uh, not up. No, I had to I had to work. Close is better than not close. Yes. Yeah. I uh, I got it plugged in. <laughs> nice. Oh, there you go. It's a step in the right direction. It has power now. Indeed, mm. it does have power. Yes. And yep. you have to turn it on. Put this back away. Ready for this, Todd? I got these little shadow boxes from one bulk sidewall, and I built them completely backwards from the opening. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, for that's what? a dirt. For the, I assume for the main hold. You got some cargo boxes to put in the main hold, like my, like my little barrels. I tried to get the, I tried to get the whole cargo set. I think I told you guys, and and. Uh, Something was wrong with it. They said the, the the guy who built it has to fix it, and he never did, and they canceled my order. Oh, they wouldn't 3D print it because it had errors in the files. Yeah, there was some kind of. Like, they probably changed materials, but I have these little barrels for my. That's thing. super cool. I have a, a bunch, a couple different sizes. Those are cool. That's for the DI. They'd be a little big for this one. Yeah, I was about to say those cargo those those barrels are pretty uh, gen gigantic. Yeah, well, that and uh, I don't think there's even the cargo hold in this one. No. I don't know if we said hi to Mark before. He's here. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. And good Steven, wishes to Steve. Steven, if I didn't get you, Steve. Steven, we got Steven early. <laughs> no, you guys did, but I didn't. So, hi, Steven. <clears throat> and we got Darth, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, let me just, let's just get this. Okay. Well, so Let's see. If we I'm can so, get some photo edge, I'm on so this listless. Console. I gotta figure out something to do. <clears throat> I'm gonna figure out a power option. I want to power this little box with a USB, and then I could go direct to the strip light for the engines that way too. But then I have a bunch of unused lights if I'm not using the stock LEDs for the engines. Well, the way I look at it is, if we don't use the stock LEDs for the engines, we also don't have to use these big, ugly diffusers, and we can use that space for something else. Right. Because we Very can run the point. strip right along the back, the back trans, trans, trans light. So. And you're doing blue, not white, because the stock LEDs uh, are white. The I'm doing uh, cyan, is what I was planning on. Cyan? I have a light blue LED strip. Oh, like an ice blue almost? Great. I need to go shopping. Ah! Yeah. Amazon, my old friend, here I come. <clears throat> get my money, my old friend. Oh, you're doing it this way? Wait, I got to get that. Oh, what? You're doing it that way? Oh, I got to get that too. 
Uh, that's we're, what we're this all, whole hey, thing is. We're been. all trying to build the best <laughs> one. Next thing you know, we're all gonna have the same parts, and we'll all have the same mods. <laughs> not me. I'm. I, I'm giving all my photo etch away. That's not true. I still have my green strawberry. So. So do you guys have a recommended power supply? Because I don't have one for my. I, I don't know. Mine is by Roxy, but I'm pretty sure that company existed for like a month. I have so, I have a. Mine's I have nice a Wamp Tech. Yeah, but it's it's take your take your take a bunch of Scrabble tiles, throw them on the floor, and that's <laughs> yeah. that's the name of the company this week. So it's just some random one off Amazon. Yeah, uh, the biggest thing that you probably want to get is make sure it has a separate on off button for the circuit. That is so helpful. And make sure it has uh, overcurrent protection. Yeah, they mostly yeah. all do. Yeah, um, I got a Kung Burr and I didn't like it. So then I got yeah, the Mancad. It, it, <laughs> yeah, the, the bleh, that's that's the ver the model I got. I really um, like this one. The one I have is a Rockseed RS three ten P, but I don't even think it's on Amazon anymore. They probably yeah, I got mine's still on Amazon. I'll post a link in the uh, PG Falcon or somewhere for you, Dave. Yeah, don't put it in the in the rated R Falcon. Put it in the PG Falcon. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I posted up uh, my power supply. Okay. Dave, I like it. It works. It's also the happiest power supply on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding yeah. me? What? That little, this little tiny part. It's not even. A, it's. I can barely see that part. Welcome to oh, Bandai. Yeah. Are you serious? It looks like a lunar a lunar module thruster though. It's cute. You know, I have some of these ice blue LEDs. I used them for the engines on my uh, <coughs> shuttle Tidarium. Oh, and I just don't have 5 volt. I bought them in 12 volt, I think. Well, why would you oh, I need to get leads for them too, right? Why would you run 12 volt? They usually come with leads, but you'll want I'll to pick up. You know what? Let me let me send you a link to the leads too. Because these are like great the leads. The clip-on leads are the best ones. Yeah, the clip-ons are the best. Um, I actually think... Okay, yeah, that's funny. I was looking at one that looked right like that. It was... Okay, it, it literally looks the same, but the letters that are scrabbled on the top are different. Yeah, <laughs> yes. but that's that's literally. the one I bought. I'm very happy with it. I yeah, returned it, one before that one. So I found one that looks identical, but it's only 5 amps. Is, it's 30 volts, but 5 amps. Is that a big deal? Uh, 5 amps is, yeah, you're going to be pushing 2, 3, 4 amps sometimes, depending on what you're building. I... Like lighting the Enterprise D part work, I'm already over 2 amps. Just on the side. Wow. So you're probably better off with the getting uh, getting the the heavier duty power supply. And those leads are are mandatory. They are so good. They make life so much easier. Barely can see that. That's how this whole thing's gonna go, isn't it? Just these tiny little butt details. Yeah, this is a ten amp that I got. And uh, yeah. that's that's a that's a comfortable place to be is ten amps. Yeah, the one I got is ten amp. And it's nice and easy to use if I can use it. Trust me, <laughs> anybody, anybody could use it. This one looks like it's about the same here. I'll, I'm just not that I want it to be different, but I just tell me if it's the same price. Tell me if that one's any good. Uh, let me take it a look in here. My cart. <clears throat> uh, it, it looks almost the same. It has a few extra buttons. It has a mute button. Why? I don't know. And it has beep, an OCP button. Overcurrent protection, I guess. I kind of wish mine had a mute button. Mine doesn't really make any noise unless I turn it on or off. Mine beeps only... like every time you turn the knob to change the voltage or every time you push the oh, button. Oh, yeah, beep, yeah. Mine, beep, mine, beep, oh, I don't mind beep, that at all. Don't. Yeah, but sometimes I'm in here, you know, 11, 12, 1 o'clock. Everybody yeah, else looks... is asleep. I'm like, oh, I need to adjust my. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's the same power supply probably with the mute button. I don't know why it has a button for overcurrent protection. It, it doesn't make any sense. Mine does. It's too. just it's just built in automatically. It's like. Oh no 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 no! The Nancad has overcurrent protection. Um, it's just using one of the knobs you push in as a button to turn it on and off. I was gonna say, this feel like a why would you not want that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I I don't I know. Voluntarily either. melt my thing, please. Thank you. Yeah. Um. So yeah, mine has overcurrent protection. It just doesn't have a mute a mute button. 
But okay, if, they're pretty much the same thing then. Okay. If you need the mute button, go for it. I just I don't know. I know this cheap Chinese no name one works fine and I've used it for like a year now, at least. And I mean this thing I've been I, I crank on it, you know, with with the friggin' two plus amps going into the Enterprise D. I have broken the focus on my my camera. It's been a lot easier to hook that thing up than try to Hey Todd, look in the menu and see if you have uh it is. Uh, Product showcase turned on or off. Yeah, yeah product showcase. That's it. It's no, fun. but he took he took the wide angle adapter off, and mine yeah, lost and I, its mind when I did that. It wouldn't yeah, focus but on. It's, it's back on. So let me turn. Let me take it off again. Yeah, oh, Jesus. that's what you get. Um. Anything? Bueller. Bueller. Nothing. Bueller. Try pushing the shutter button one time just to. Okay, so I want ice blue, 640 LEDs, two meters. Tom strip, one and a half meter, 320 LEDs. That's not as dense. Zoom all the way out and then hold something up to the camera. Like this thing has lost its mind. 3.3 feet, 320. Um, LED. There you go. Three feet flexible. Well, I, had to touch the, I had to touch the screen. Dash asked, what 3D printers did we get? Maybe somehow you've turned on uh, um, touch I'll focus. Some kind of autofocus tracking. Like, yeah. Uh, Dash, I got Todd's old uh, uh, Mono 4K. Uh, it's, a, it's a little guy, but, uh, the, you know, it's it's perfectly... It's good for smaller things, and it's great to learn on because you're you're not filling it up with a ton of resin when you're using it. And uh, once I get comfortable with that, then uh, I'm gonna see what comes out in the next twelve months, and probably get a bigger printer, something like in the ten to twelve inch range. That Saturn um, Four looks really good. I sent you guys. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for anything that's got a big screen, high res, and a reasonable price. That thing, I think it'll probably be priced at around four to five hundred bucks, just for the printer. So it's not one of it's not the cheapest, but it's for what oh, you're getting. Yeah, and and honestly, that that stupid uniformation, um, it gets a lot of really good reviews. Yeah, it, it but it it's just so expensive. The only it reason it gets good silly. reviews. It has a built-in heater, and it's got the lift-up lid. But the new Saturn is going to have the lift-up lid, and if you want a heater, you can get one. Even you have one. And you I can already have a heater. I'll just move yeah. it over. I mean, but they look at the price of that thing. It's like 1500 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's stupid. But the, and the funny thing is, they were so desperate to get their name out there, they were giving them away. Left and right, I mean, everybody and their brother. Like this guy has two hundred subscribers. He's giving them away. I'm like, what? It's a fifteen hundred dollar oh, machine. Just give them I to e everyone. I emailed them. They they didn't respond. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I emailed them. They were no 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 response whatsoever. I guess they're giving them away to almost everybody. <laughs> I saw a page like the one. No, I missed I missed the gravy train on that one. Apparently, like. I was okay. I'm ordering. I'm not saying they're not good, but I just for what else is out there, it's just not worth that price tag. Yeah, I agree. Well, because then here's I'll the win. thing: with all of them, like they they're like, oh, there's the price of the printer, but you have to buy, like you have to buy the after, uh, you know, the, the curing machine. You have to buy the cleaning too. Like you have to have that. If you already have one, it's no big deal. But but like you don't. The cost of resin printing isn't just the resin printer. You know, yeah. that's what's. I just set it out on the back porch in the sun. It'll cure. Yeah, yeah. I love the way I love the way that Dave sounds. Yeah, Dave sounds like Dave. Dave sounds like a real man. He's like, "What'd you sprinkle on your dinner tonight?" He's like, "Drywall screws, I had a bowl of nails for breakfast." <laughs> Put more <laughs> material, nail, brother. When I was your age, we didn't whittle wood with knives. We just chewed on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know oh, it's man. awful. I don't know what it is. My wife says I'm sick. I don't think I don't no, feel I it. 
My Maybe wife. it's just allergies, Dave. That's what I think it is. Because my dad used to get like this when I was younger. You just had a whole and, bunch and of pollen. You get older too. It sucks. Right? Yeah. Did, did your pollen season pop off yet in Pennsylvania? Oh yeah, yeah, it's awful, and that's what everything's I think green. Cool yep. Yeah, including the inside of your lungs. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm thinking it is. So, so I mean, it, sometimes it you can get up. allergies so bad that you actually will get a sinus infection. Yeah, my oh yeah, it's like you know, bright neon green and thick as oh gosh, it's really bad. Wow. Yeah, that only lasts. We only have pollen season for about seven months of the year in Georgia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I usually I, I usually have to go get some Claritin this time of year, and I think I'm gonna just go get some. I've just been putting it off. I just need to cut down that freaking Bradford pear tree in the front yard. Okay, I ordered the five volt, five millimeter ice blue. I didn't have five volt ice blue. So if I'm not, hold on a second now. Ice, if I'm not ice, using baby. Can we just paint the thing blue and then put the white LEDs behind it. What you happened? Know? Can't we paint it blue, or is that not going to look right? You could paint it blue and put put the white LEDs behind it. That's fine. I think, that, I think that's what I'm going to do. It might Spray be a little. A blue on it. I'm going to test that. I'm going to test painting them blue to me a clear blue, and then putting the LEDs behind it and see how they look. If it's too hot spotty though, I think I'm gonna I'll, I'll have I have six feet of that strip coming in for ten bucks. Come on. I, I need yeah. to sit down with you, Ian, and Todd. I, I need to sit down with you guys and absorb everything you guys know about electrical stuff because I know nothing. mostly mostly gonna it's gonna be more. Well, I mean I know a little, but it's more Todd and Donnie. You know what? I I would go. I wrote some really good articles. I I feel. Uh, on my memory model, where I basically start with the very basics and explain like how to use LEDs. Oh yeah, I saw some of those. How to I, use resistors. That's actually like math Todd. And, that's yeah, where so. I'm pulling 100% of everything that I'm using right now from. So it's great. I did it for somebody that's never done electronics before. It was written yeah. with, with yeah, that mindset. I, I need to find that and watch it. Oh, I was um. Oh, it's, was it's a read. It's a read. Sorry, I'll read it. Because, like, I, I understand the basics of circuitry, but I've never done anything more than, you know, ba well, you guys saw my one job on my LEDs for the the X-Men character I did, and that was pretty it much... It turned out good, though. Yeah, but all yeah. I did was I took a bunch of wires and, you know, I put all the red ones together and all the black ones together. I know that much. <laughs> That's all I did. It's nothing fancy to it. Hey, um, FYI, if anyone needs a cheap set of pin vices that come in one, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three millimeter, um, go to USA Gundam store and buy these damn things now. I just have one pin vice you can put all those sizes in. Well, these are handy, though. They're, they're a little tougher sometimes, but they're very handy. And on Amazon, if you get them from Mr. Hobby, they come in different colors. They're, they're different colors in this, but... They're fifteen dollars, and if you get them at USA Gundam Store, they come in these different colors. Five ninety nine for the whole set, and That's you have a perfect effect. three millimeter right there you for drilling there. Dollars shipping though. Well, yeah, but if you're ordering other stuff from USA Gundam Store, they have sales all the time. That is yeah, that's true. where I get the majority of my primers and clear coats from them. And that's how I get my stash. Oh, I need this thing, but I don't want to pay for shipping for just this thing. So let me buy a kit while I'm here. Well, I yeah, I just I try to order a lot from them because they do charge for shipping. Yeah. Um, but it's not awful, but it's only ten bucks. They have yeah. some really good deals sometimes on things like the, the pin vice sets basically like sixty percent off. Oh yeah. And then they might have another sale going on right now. Let's see. Is there another sale? No, nah, they just ended the 15% off last week, I think. Oh, yeah. It'll start again on Tuesday. Yeah. It's like, yeah uh, or this they Friday. have a sale every week. Every it's week. like every week. Yeah, well, because there was such a shortage of gun kits during COVID. So, like, all these sellers, they had nothing to sell, and everyone would pay maximum price for it. And then, because Bandai was backed up, they couldn't get production running because Japan was shut down. And then after, one, once, like early 2023 hit bandai just started flooding the u.s market with kits and these guys are just their warehouses are t packed to the rafters with stuff and it's not moving because now people don't have any money to buy anything yep because before everyone had their stimmy checks and they're like gundams yay did you say stimmy, stimmy checks yep they're stimmy checks 
That's how. I, I, that's why I've been stashing up because they keep having these sales. I well, got like fifty bucks off a of perfect grade and forty bucks. No, forty bucks yeah. off that master grade extreme. I mean, it's stupid. Yep. Yep. So now they're just buried in inventory, and they're they're trying to they're running sales all. The there was no sales during COVID. No sales from any of these guys. They were charging everything. Everyone was charging full MSRP. You were lucky if they even had anything in stock, and you'd pay through the nose for anything you could get. Now it's just like. They're just buried in kits from Bandai, but it it's it's it comes in waves. Like if you le if you see a kit you like and it sells out, you're not going to see that kit again for possibly two to ten years, depending on the kit. That's yeah. crazy. Like yeah, always that remember that about Bandai kits. I saw that sometimes they released them within like six months again, but then that was it for to your point for like another two years. Yeah, so newer they kits. Out really fast. They do yeah, it newer again. kits they'll re release pretty quickly, but older kits, nope. They do nope. one run and they put away the molds for like five years. Wow. Yeah, I'm at the point now where I pretty much got everyone that I wanted because they were so cheap. Yeah, um, sure, you got everyone you wanted. No. I probably did. And then Famous last words. Famous last nope. No, really, I don't don't have any other ones I'm looking at. I'm I'm literally checking P Bandai to see if anything new comes out that I want. Yeah, they 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 drop things at least once a month, and they give you no notice. <laughs> um, so nope, yeah, okay, none. I'll leave the engine lights. Okay, I'm not going to steal the engine lights yet. So I'm just doing headlights and the cockpit. Cockpit. You ever seen no, a grown yeah. man naked? Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that never gets old. And uh, let me get my, I guess I'll get my console primered and my tub. Danny, I'm thinking, will some lights maybe shine through the rest of the cockpit to get those sidewalls lit up? I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. I'm, I'm working on the console right now. Let me see here. Well, because you got the tan plastic. Oh man, that's gonna light that thing up solid. Little hot spotty. Probably sand these LEDs a little, right? If you, I don't know, they're pretty diffused already, just being in. In the resin. Which LEDs are you using? I'm just, I just, I'm just stuffing two three millimeter LEDs in the bottom of this thing. Mm. Might even dip them in white paint. They're really bright, and this little view I screen. I tried sanding them, and it didn't seem to make a lot of difference. Yeah, that little view screen in the middle—that's green, right? I believe so. That little scope or whatever it is. It's yeah. Like a light blue, light green, something like that. Like okay, yeah. I'll just oh, <clears throat> I'm just planning on on how to paint it later. I'll probably put a a little drop of to me a clear green inside of there. Okay. So now I gotta mask this thing off. Jeez, that's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm just gonna paint my console with the brush. What the sides? Yeah. You just brush painted all that silver on there? Yeah. You're yeah. quite the Chad. That's all brush painted. I brush painted my console. Okay, stop go. it. Fine, I'll brush paint. <laughs> but let me, I'm gonna mask it first. Except I'm I'm no I'm gonna brush paint those raised details. I'm not using the photo etch. On the console, just the rear wall and the top that we cut off. To be fair, I did paint my my console the wrong movie, but that's okay. It's an ESB cockpit. So. Oh my gosh! What like they changed the controls out? They did. But they changed they... the size of the entire cockpit. Well, yeah, but the con the consoles the consoles in here were on ESB were gray in the back, on gray on the left side, and gray over here. But on that, if you look at the decals on this, they were all black. Well, there we go. Where'd well, you go? I I don't the 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 browser tab just crashed on Streamyard for me. Nice, it's nice. It's always a fun surprise when that happens. Dash says he got the time circuit himself. I assume he's talking about yours, Ian. Um, and and the, I got that time circuit myself. I just got the time clock. Didn't you get the time clock and you didn't like it? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the flux capacitor little guy that I have, I like. I got the time circuit box with all the clock and date readouts, and I just, I turned it on, and I was just like, this thing's not great. It's 15 bucks. I wish was, my big one was $15. It was more than, what, what, oh, the time, the flux is 15 the flux. No, it's only fifteen dollars now. No, the uh, that little like there that the the time circuit box or whatever it was the uh, the display. Oh the yeah, that box. that wasn't super expensive. New for a reason because it sucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Darth. A dash. I, I didn't. I didn't like it. I thought it was pretty substandard. I mean, I knew it was going to be substandard, but I didn't know it was going to be that substandard. To be fair, it was also fifteen bucks. It was also fifteen bucks. For fifteen bucks, honestly, it wasn't bad. But I was just like, eh, I don't, I don't know if I want to stare at this thing every day. For a hundred times more, I got a full size clock. For, for literally a, well, yours, <laughs> yours is for like a, hundred, a hundred nearly times more. <laughs> yours is nearly a perfect exact replica, like down to like the millimeter of the the screen used prop. They did a really good job. I do like it. It's out in my cabinet. I know. I, I, I looked at it, Todd. I was. They actually have a Christopher Lloyd signed one right now. Yeah, when I called him and asked him, I said, they're shipping already. How come I'm not getting them? He goes, well, the signed ones are shipping. I go, he goes, you want to upgrade? I go, no. Do you know how much your signed ones are? Oh, two grand? 1500 No. What? Pass. I saw the listing. <clears throat> pass. It was, it was also 1500 <laughs> but I'm not I'm not one of those big guys on like you know actors signatures on things. I really don't care. Yeah, I don't care. You know? Like if Michael J thing, Fox this, signed my thing, hoverboard. This thing you drill a hole in for the headlight, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And they actually have an LED cutout in the front of the mandible they that do. will show you there's where there's an LED hole there's an LED hole in the back of it. There's a hole right there. Yeah, yeah, but but line them line it up on the front mandible, and you'll see where they meant to put an LED. I'm pretty sure. It's a three millimeter oh, it's a, it's LED. In the, it's in the perfectly. exact right spot too. Yeah. That's an LED hole. Yeah. I said this on the other stream when I was drilling my holes. I was like, look at this. W. I don't have another W. Oh, there's two Ws. Yeah. Two Ws. All these duplicates. Yeah. Okay, well, there's no photo etch going on. Oh, there is photo etch going on there. So I just need to cut this off right there. I just you know, love how the inside of the mandibles are clearly the under the entire undercarriage of something. If you look at both of them side by side. Yeah, it looks like a car yeah. chassis. Yeah. Like a truck chassis. It's, it's definitely a vehicle chassis. Yeah. All the way back to like the gas tank and everything. Dave is so nerding out on all the model kit bashing parts <laughs> that are on this thing. Oh, are you kidding me? That's the only reason he was even building this kit. It's yeah, yeah maybe. He's, he's like, I don't even like Star Wars, but there's so much tank parts on here. Oh my gosh. I have an X Wing up here I built and a walker. I don't know what you're talking about. Dave sounds like me with Watts linkages. Don't question my like of Star Wars. <laughs> Wow! Wow! This is the this is the fiercest I've heard Dave uh, defend himself ever. I know. I'm looking for a voice to do it. He used he used <laughs> he used his big boy voice to tell Todd to do not you shut disrespect up. my sore tie. Yes. Listen, listen, Kirk. Yeah, I don't know if that was. I, I really I think this is going to be my Wonderfest one because it's already built. That is a very nice little model. That's super cool. How many oh, little, oh, many nice. parts could they have just molded in? I just need to paint it. I mean, it looks really great. Todd, you know, Bandai, Bandai is as Bandai does. <clears throat> I mean, are they doing this just so you have lots of things to do? No, nope. they did it because that was the best production method for getting the most accuracy to their photos and 3D scans. They have very good engineers at Bandai. They know a what they're doing. A lot of those little tubes and stuff, they wouldn't have been able to just mold in and get it to look right. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they molded in a lot on the mandibles. Mandibles. Mandible. Everybody drink. Everybody drink. 
Oh, you see. Oh, my God. Dash. Whoa. Missed a whole bunch of your stuff here. Uh, <clears throat> looks like my eyes. Are... Got the Creality 3D resin printer and the washer, but haven't set them up yet. Played a bit with the Creality Ender 3D Pro. And only one spaghetti print. Yeah, the Ender 3. Um, uh, bed leveling is spaghetti. And also, if your damn spool doesn't feed, which I had a stuck spool, that'll cause spaghetti. Got the time circuit. Wait, I need one of the spruce up my display. Build my own working time clock out of wood spray paint. Yeah, you could build your own. I only ever had one spaghetti print. It was on my bamboo. <laughs> it was bad. <clears throat> the marks that recycle a lot of their old tank parts. Mission time for a $3,000 Hero One robot back when I was 12. What? This can't be right. Hero One robot? Which robot is that? Hero One. Am I just stupid? Don't answer that. That's the one before Hero 2. Damn it. I was asking <laughs> for it. <clears throat> Clearly. Yeah, you walked into that one, buddy. Yeah, well, you know. <clears throat> it's been known to happen. I don't always watch where I'm going. Am I just using flat aluminum or something? Aluminium paint, Donnie? Let me go my new improved giant to me a paint drawer. Uh, that was, what I used was, uh, chrome silver. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Nope, that's not it. Vallejo Gay Mare Silver. I don't have any of that. This is one of the best metallic paints outside of, like, the AK Extreme Metals. Because mm. they use actual aluminum powder instead of mica. Oh, so like the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz who got poisoned. Yeah. There you Except go. you're not wearing it. Yeah. Uh, let me see. What else do I have? What other paints do I have here? Uh, no silvers. I've got that MIG dry brush light metal that'll work really nice what that'll work really nice especially what if you're for, trying to do little knobs and stuff for light blocking <clears throat> oh for light blocking i'm not gonna oh. waste that stuff on light blocking sorry i thought you were trying to paint the knobs i should pay attention before i talk no i'm just gonna i'm just gonna take some unthin tamiya chrome silver <clears throat> and toss a ball bearing in there and shake that up metallics are really good for light blocking Yes. And so I have another thing is if I <clears throat> open a paint to use it, but I don't thin it, instead of writing a T on it, I just draw a little little big dot on it to say this got a ball bearing in it and I've opened it and I've used it straight. That it's not thinned, but it's opened. I don't know going through there, Todd. The difference? I'm trying to get that to focus. Ah. Now all the little greeblies are on the cockpit tube. Nice. Nice. Little, I love that little tiny. These stupid Prop 65 Lunar stickers lander, on the paint. Thruster there. There's another one over here somewhere. Right, another one here. Uh, Lunar lander thruster. Sweet. Those are tiny. <clears throat> I almost ordered uh, an old... Like an MPC moon bus kit today from 2001. It is time to build the mandible. So I don't need G and J. I need CDI. I'll be right back. Uh, <clears throat> uh, hey, Dave. Uh, Chase is asking, can you speak a little bit about what clear coat to use before using oil paint and thinners for weathering? Yeah, so uh, after you have your acrylic base down, you want to use either a gloss or semi-gloss or satin, whichever one. It's pretty much the same thing. They're not, but they're close enough. Use one of those 
because what that does is give you kind of a smooth texture to your surface that you're going to be applying your washes and oils to. If you use flat, what will happen is you get this rough surface and then your oils and your washes will kind of just go all over the place. If you use a gloss or a, or a satin finish, it's smooth enough that it'll it'll flow like into your like think your panels uh for panel lining it'll flow into there and it won't just kind of wash over the surface um and it'll make it much easier to control so <coughs> i think that's most Do you simple use, use a gloss or a flat when you're streaking i i still so i only do one coat of clear before i do all my weathering and that is the i use a satin varnish for that sometimes i'll use a gloss but usually i just use satin the whole time which well, is i tried like gloss simple. one time on the uh shuttle and it <clears> didn't <throat> seem to be working very good yeah you can use a satin that's what i use most times i usually use a gloss for metallics more so but i'm you know either one will work i just always caution against using a, a flat you can get away with using a flat or matte varnish it just makes it much more difficult to get like lines what you'll get is more like stains if that makes sense yeah the, the rougher surface of the flats causes it to kind of soften doesn't it just spreads out uh, it's, of, like... it's, it's, yeah it it's more so has to do with how the the um the enamel and stuff flows because it's always going to try to like level itself out and with the with the with a flat varnish, you got to think of it like a really rough texture, almost like uh, you know the the top of like asphalt or concrete. If it's rough, you pour water onto it, and it just wants to like go out, and it finds all the cracks, and it goes in all the different directions. Whereas if you had like a smooth glass top, you'd pour the water on, and it would just sit in one spot. It wouldn't. The capillary action of a rough surface wants to pull the material out, so you get like a a staining effect whereas if you have control because it doesn't want to move on you it just goes where you tell it you can control it in streaks and lines much easier yeah i think well, i just up. do a video and, and actually show you guys what i'm talking about just because i think it's out you guys ask me that a lot which is good I, um but i actually I, I think it's easier for me to show you guys in a video and you explain do a comparison yeah, I can totally do that for you guys. I'm going to write a comparison. That. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see like yeah. the difference Same. What it looks like to do a weather <clears throat> over a gloss. Well, the other thing that I heard that helps a lot, and that I used, I used a ton in the past, is without unless you're using Bandai plastic, you soak the area that you're going to put your enamel streaking on with enamel thinner first, and it makes it really, you know, feed into all the cracks a lot quicker. Yep. Yeah, because you essentially give it a. It's almost like putting soldering fluid down first. It kind of guides it ahead of time. Yeah. That is a good tip. You're fluxing your weathering? Basically. Yeah. <laughs> well, the problem I had on the shuttle when I had the gloss coat on it was when I went back and tried to streak, it was just taking it all off instead of making a streak. Yeah, so you, with oils, if you're trying to do streaking, you want to have more of a concentrated thing in one spot and then you trying to drag it down at least that's how i like to do it yeah if that's you, what i was doing yeah if you see guys do it with enamels what they'll do is they'll actually do what ian just said they'll put they'll put a little bit of enamel thinner down first then they'll do these really heavy thick like streaks and lines and then they'll let it actually partially dry and then they'll go back over with a brush with just dampened with enamel thinners and they'll go over it again and that kind of gives you that stained uh look but it doesn't it's not it's very subtle and you kind of keep doing that over and over again to build up the effect that's how they want you to do with enamels the, the trick though is when you go over it you have to go over it very gently you're just trying to drag it you're not going to get the effect on the first drag it's gonna you're gonna have to do it a couple times till you get the effect you want and you can even kind of control the oils and shape the streak how you want to so I just need yeah, to do I, I didn't have much problem doing it over the flat coat, but that gloss coat was killing me. Yeah. Because every time I tried to do a streak, about the second time I 
you know, wipe over it. It was just gone. Yeah. I was like, what the hell's wrong with this? And then I realized it was a gloss coat. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely. Oh, I, can, I can definitely do that for you guys. It's a good idea. Yeah, I'd love to see that. <clears throat> I have light. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Donnie, I use the trick where you drill into the end of the LED and then put the uh, fiber optic in there. Oh, you're it doing makes it the a lot easier, too? Yeah. And this is the first time I powered up a LED, so I'm super kind of like... First yeah. time ever? What are you using? Huh? What are you using to power it? My power source. My power supply. The power supply that he talked about for about five minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was Dave that didn't have the power supply. Yeah. Oh, my God. I just sorry. had to figure out how to, like, set it properly. I set my amps too low. You could set the amps wherever. It's only going to pull the amps it needs. Yes. You can set the amps yeah, I just zero. leave the amps on mine set to maximum. Yeah. You can set it to zero. All the amps. Huh. All the amps. Okay, cool. I leave mine on, like, two amps usually. Nah. Only if you need to limit the amps. Otherwise, set it to zero. Just let it take what it needs to take. Yeah. The bulbs will suck what they want. It'll do that on zero? Yep. Not on zero. Well, at zero. Yes, it will. I didn't know that. Yep. Set it to zero. Like I said, I, I keep mine set on maximum. Nope. Set it Ten to zero. amps. It'll I'll have to remember to that. Pull. I'll have to remember that. Yeah. I learned something today. I am slightly smarter than I was. Today I learned. I was this many days old. Uh -huh. So the trick is I got to watch the voltage I, I put on there. The voltage, yes. Yeah, the voltage, the voltage is very critical. Like, LEDs are very sensitive to being over voltaged. You will, even if you don't burn it out, you will, as Todd told me, you will shorten its lifespan by an unknown but possibly massive amount. So, like, Super cool. you got to look at the forward voltage of every LED. They all have different ratings. Oh, man. Well, each color has a different rating. Each color, yes. Wow. Each color yeah. has a different the forward reds, voltage. The reds and yellows tend to take the lowest. The yeah, so here, whites can take higher. Yellow is 1.8 to 2.2 volts. Green is 3 to 3.2. Blue is 2.8 to 3. Red is 1.9 to 2.1. And white is 3.2 to 3.4. I'm going to remember that. For your LEDs, my money. Well, no. When you buy a generic box of these for like 10 bucks on Amazon, they're all they're all labeled. Oh, yeah. Every this, blue this... I've ever seen says 3 to 3.2. Yeah. Well, these say 2.8 to 3. I don't know why. Uh, but but uh, the, th the nice thing to remember is you can always put 2 volts into any LED. True. Basically, yeah. Really? Man. Yeah, they'll just... even, yeah even, the, even the blues and whites will light up with 2. Yeah, they just won't be as fully bright as they could be. What you do is you hook an LED up to the thing, you start turning the knob till you hear pop, and you go, oh, that was too much. That was too much. Back that off a little bit. You release the smoke out of the diode, it's all done. Where's oh, Buck? Release the smoke. It's one of the first things, that's the first thing I was taught in an electrical engineering class. Don't release the smoke. Can't put it back. Do not release <laughs> smoke. Yep. We want no yep. smoke release. But it's cool to watch. Never release the magic smoke. I've yeah. actually exploded an LED before. Cool. I used to I used to take um when I was a kid I had a twenty Some amp or twenty volt push. twenty amp power supply. And we got these my first job was at McDonald's because that's where you go. And yeah. they changed out our, our registers and we got these new registers. And they just threw the old ones away. Well, I loved electronics, so I promptly rescued them from the trash can. And then I took them home and took this 20-volt, 20 20-amp 20 power supply on full power and just started touching things with the probes to see what would happen. <laughs> A lot of pow. Yeah, needless to say, and I don't know why I just pulled this off. What is this? D24? What did I just do? I don't know. What did you just do? I don't know what I just did. Where did I just go? Uh, Donnie, this was also a very great tip. <sighs> What's that? The uh, wire cutter. 
thingy. Oh, the wire stripper? Yeah. Yeah. I love those things, man. Oh, my God. Especially with these big Lincoln log fingers. My goodness. Oh, yeah. It just makes it so much easier than trying to, you know, <clears throat> strip, strip a wire. wire with those other ones, you know, where you squeeze it and then you got to pull. Yep. My entire computer just blue screened and rebooted. <laughs> nice. No, not nice. Ah, the blue screen, the beginning. I just built this computer last year. Oh, well, there's it's that the Intel processor, man. There's the problem. You built it. Oh, stop it. Now to build a computer. Blue LED lights were the hardest to make. built it with an Intel processor. Intel. I figured out how to make them, and that's how we ended up with these bright LEDs. Uh, interesting. I'll have, to, I'll have to search for that. I love watching me a good useless information What's that? <coughs> documentary. Oh, that sound pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that way, you know, I'm at, oh, a, yeah. I'm at a party the next time. I said, you see those blue LEDs? You know, those things were a real bitch to make. The guy spent the years of his life. Here, let me show you this video real quick. Those are the hardest LEDs to ever invent to make. And about the time you get there, they're going to go, what? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody was calling me. I'll be back. <laughs> yep. And then you never hear from them again. They unfriend you on okay. Facebook. They disappear from Instagram. They stop following you. They won't like Jeez, you. tell me about your personal problems, Todd. Well, <laughs> I have friends. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, dear. All right, well, Ian has like... friends. They don't know they're his friends, but he has friends. I have very few friends, actually. Hey, Steven. Same. My wife says I'm too picky. This is a right. motley crew, for sure. Why, why don't you hang out with so-and-so's husband? He's a nice guy. I'm like, I don't like him. He's stupid. <laughs> he said, what about your husband? I'm like, he's not funny. What about so and so's husband? I'm like, oh my god, I don't even want to talk about that guy. It's just like, oh, we, oh, oh, oh. like what they think we're like. We 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 have no standards at all for anything. <laughs> you're, you're both men. You guys will get along. Okay. She's like, what, she's like you're, that one, honey. You, you know what you don't say is when she goes, yeah, you know, you're too picky about people you like. And I was like, I married you, didn't I? Oh Jesus. <laughs> I haven't whipped that one out. It came. It came to what the tip of my wrong tongue, with you? and didn't exit the mouth. Self-preservation instincts kicked in at that very moment. Because otherwise, it would be like. And at that moment, he realized he effed up. <laughs> yeah. It's like that, uh, could be uh, a, uh, that could be a whole TV show. I'm like, uh, don't call, say. It. We'll, we'll just call it the moment. The moment. The moment. The, the, we'll call the, it the moment. moment. The, all it is the, is shows, the words come out. All it is is just videos. From from online or whatever, where people realized, whoops. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of videos on TikTok like that. Pretty much all TikTok videos are like that. TikTok makes their videos like that just to make their videos like that. Got everything. The whole, the whole damn thing just crashed right out. Is that why it got so quiet so quickly? <laughs> All right, shut your damn mouth. <laughs> if the shoe fits. Ooh, I saw this this 3D gun Put it in model. Ian's mouth. Oh. <laughs> What'd you see? Uh, a 3D model on a uh, gam body for uh, the gun star from uh, Last Starfighter. Oh, that would be sweet to have. Yeah, it's like 30 one. bucks for the model. For the 3D design, and then you got to print it. But I like that's something I really need a bigger printer for. If I only depends on how big you want to make the model. Well, Titan's printing. Titan made is making one. It looks badass. It's it's awesome. I want a I want a big gun star. I don't want a little gun star. Did I get that Star Wars? Uh, oh, I gotta see if I got that Star Wars STL. I, I only have it. room for so many large models. I forgot I had that in my... I think I have it in my stash. No, see, your, your, your problem is, is, Donnie, you just need to kick some people out of your house. <laughs> That's true. You've got too many people living with you. Yeah, you got to get rid of some of those people. Yeah. More models, less people. 
You wanna you wanna buy a slightly used family? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you you realize a family's incredibly easy to make. You're in, you're they, interested they suck, in uh certified they pre-owned? Suck to, they suck to keep Yeah, but up think of all the money expensive. you'll save not having to go through all those earlier years. That's true. <laughs> I'm just saying if I I could have made my own, they're they're very easy to make. And, and quite fun, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's fun practicing, but I mean it's it's they're expensive. It's, it's fun practicing. Yeah. It is. Ian doesn't know what we're talking about. It's been a long time for Ian. Leave him alone. <laughs> The I remember. I have fond memories of those days. God, Back in the olden times, when we practiced baby making. Todd, are you still complaining about how good the model is? Yes. <laughs> that detail it. is insane. Here I am, just chopping up all these parts with my nippers. Oh my god, you gotta really, yeah, you're really, you're really gutting this whole seat. Yep. My gosh. Alright, I'm gonna have to spin up the other camera. This is not okay. working. Oh, I think, I've, I've, I think I've confused this camera. Oh, with the I lighting. do have it. Holy cow. That's a $100 STL file, and I, I have it included in my in my library, I don't have to pay that. I love that. What do you What do you mean included in your library? So I I have a Patreon that I joined, and after you join them for five months, they give you all sorts of extra stuff. And this diorama, this Vader but diorama, was one of them. Mm. I, I showed you guys the picture, didn't I? Oh yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah, that was one of one that was painted. Somebody painted it, but I have the there's the STL file. Uh, one six scale, and it's pre-supported. Oh, that makes my life so much easier. Yeah, the supports are the I need to. Part. I just need to print. I just need to print this. I think this will be one of my entries in the Wonderfest. Oh, I gotta get my printer going. That was with cool these. looking. The, it's Darth Vader with uh, what three stormtroopers? I think is what I what it is. Or Cod two LEDs. Two of them. Number two. Hey, Brad, welcome to the stream. Steven, hello. All right. I'll be here until my computer crashes again, I guess. Useless facts, let me bore you with farming knowledge I've had. It's very hard to hold a conversation with women because, <laughs> well, you know, someone's got to make the milk. Oh, dear, I'm just... Just going full Hulk mode on these seats. These instructions I are I like, I like. I can't believe how much you have to modify that to get that to fit. To like chop everything off. Well, that's because the how? seats. God damn it! The seats fit more like the ones in the real show. They just got the little pegs. Oh, man, I really nipped my damn thumb. It's like slide bite. Oh man. I'm sorry, Ian. Oh, that that did not tickle. You need right, one of so these, Ian. Let me. Uh, let me. Can I? I can figure out how to share this. I sliced it off with this, no problem. With what? Share oh, screen. oh, I, I don't have one of those. That's what I said. You need one. Kaboom! Parts go flying. <laughs> Wanna share window? That's the only way I managed to get R2 and 3PO off of that base. Yeah, man. Little, little saw. Dude. What do you guys oh, think yeah. of it? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes, what? all yes. That is so freaking cool. Okay, that is cool. That is badass. Dude, so, you have to um, light it like that, too. Like that, well, right. I'm going to need help with how to figure out how to light that. I'm going to like figure out to get my printer going here probably tomorrow morning and start probably... printing this thing. Yeah, there's, there's a couple ways. Is his lightsaber... Printed out of clear resin. Well, Dave's gonna be printing it, so he can print it out of whatever he wants. Yeah, to. I can print it however I want. I have clear resin. The thing is, if you could make it hollow, they have three D. They have uh, LED filaments that you can. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah, they have rigid and flexible LED filaments. 
The only problem is you got to get a wire back down from the other end. Yes, you do have to get either the positive or the negative down the tube with the filament, which mm. is the tricky part. You just have to, yeah, I just have to make sure that wire is on the back side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so anyway, yeah, I'll print that out, you know, over the next four days. Yeah, um, <laughs> I've got scales. It's one six scale, guys. It's going to be massive. So, Dave, yeah, measure the lightsaber. Uh, the thickness of it, and then uh, Todd, do you have any of the rigid LED filament bits? Uh, what do you mean the rigid? Rigid filaments, not just the flexible filaments. I have, I have cob strip. I have. He's talking about the non-flexible. Oh, the ones that don't that don't stick. Yes, I do. Uh, the one if you bend them even the slightest, they snap. Yeah, I have. Yes. Both of those. Yeah, those those might be perfect for the lightsaber. Yeah. Just don't if you can, off. if the lightsaber is thick enough that you can hollow out the print and shove that sucker in there, and just use when you use wire, use like a white wire, like use a magnet wire, something paper, yeah, use like magnet wire. hair you don't have thin. Have to have one wire going down the side of it, so you can yeah. use bare. You can use a bare wire. You don't no insulation needed. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right. Because you, you only have one one electrode coming down it. Bare magnet wire. You just yep. have to be careful down at the hilt for the. Keep the wires apart there. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely need to get working on that. I was like, I actually had to go back and find the link that they sent me for that. So that's, that's like, it's something that you have to be with them for six months to get it with like as part of your Patreon. And so like, I don't think anybody else is going to have that at Wonderfest. Probably been, not. Uh, there's guys. several of those Patreons that I would like to sign up for if I had a 3D printer. If you do want, I can share you guys the one that I'm part of. If you want some of these, I'll send them to you. They're basically just light up toothpicks. Yeah. I'll check them out. Uh, what color are those, Todd? Uh, you got every color, don't you? No, I only bought these. These are 6500, so you'd have to you'd have to shade it or clear the the, the resin. You'd put a, a clear red or something on it. But they're you can just get white, basically. Yeah, if you want to order those, Dave, they're, that they're work basically... That would though, because it would make the lightsaber look brighter in the middle. <clears throat> they're they're basically only on AliExpress, and they are directional still, those filaments. Yeah, yeah. So they, they have, have a, a front. Hole, they, have a, they have a hole at one end that tells you which is positive and which is negative. They're about uh, six centimeters long. Just FYI. They are three volt. These are, yeah, six 68, centimeters, not... 68 millimeter is what it says. Yeah, it's not going to be long enough for... The whole so that's lightsaber. almost seven millimeter, seven centimeters. Uh, well, that's including they, the leads. That's including the leads. Yeah, the actual uh, tube is about six. The actual lighted part is not nearly as long. But yes, these are from Ali blah blah blah. Ali 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 Express. Ali blah blah. Mm -hmm. Ali blah blah. All right. Is this thing dry yet? Nope. Not even close. That's what I get for hand painting to me a paint. Dang it. What's with the beeping? His heart uh, is going off. Yeah. <laughs> Pacemaker. Get Somebody my turn nitro. Off the microwave. Somebody turn off the microwave. I need to get more red than going insane. Look, this is what you guys have done. Now I'm distracted. All your fault. <laughs> well, they, <laughs> that was well, the they plan. Had to, they had to replace the metal plate and I have a plastic. Because, uh, you know, every time she'd rev up the microwave, I'd crap my pants and forget who I was for half a day. <laughs> Good old freaking, uh, what's his face? Uh, Cousin Eddie. Cousin Eddie. Yeah. That right there, Clark, is an RV. Uh, Sue, so where'd you get the tenement on wheels? <laughs> I love that one. The tenement on wheels. <laughs> he was oh a big God. British man. Hulking. Yeah, he was a brute. Yes. He's a big brute of a man. You did what? Mr. Still doesn't go out in the in the side panels as much as I would like it to. It doesn't. Okay. Well, it's better than nothing. And also you're it's not gonna be that easy to see. <coughs> True. Like, you'll see it, but uh, hey, at least it's it's light where there wasn't any before. Oh boy, not I'm excited to build figures again. 
You're excited? What 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 got you all randy? <clears throat> Seeing that diorama again, I was like, I knew I wanted to build that for Wonderfest. I was like, I know there's something I want to make for Wonderfest. That was it. You know, you know Wonderfest all... is like a month and away, a month and a half away, bro. Yeah, dude. Well, well Dave works fast when he wants. I was gonna to. say, um, what? It's like an interior tank. She's like, what are you talking about? Just sitting here talking about it. I already finished it. This is what happens when you wake up at like 4 a.m. Yes. You just start building everything. No. When I wake up at 4 a.m., I have to go to work. If I wake up at 4 a.m., it's because I have to pee. Then I go right back to bed. Wash his hands. (laughs) Todd is still up at 4 a.m. Yeah, I haven't yes. gone to bed yet. I'm the only difference at 4 a.m., I'm actually using a real toilet. Yeah. <laughs> and not washing his hands. I'm surprised Ian just doesn't have a large plastic sink in his bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work so well for number twos. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, actually, yeah, I mean, I do have IBS, so yeah, I could, uh... Ow. Oh. Somebody uh, else beat... I'm, hey, I'm just making sure my things are turned on and plugged in. And calorie lemonade. That's all. So good. Speaking of washing that was hands. That calorie counter. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, the resin gloves. Oh, the that's, smell. That's the only thing I don't like about this power supply. If you let the leads touch and it starts beeping, it just keeps beeping. you got to turn the power supply off. Mine don't beep. And then back on. There's no reset button. The light Mine doesn't do that. It just stops doing anything. Yeah. Mine just shuts down. I mean, it doesn't turn off. It just it just cuts power. Yeah. Well, yeah, mine cuts power, but it'll just keep beeping until you turn it off and turn it back on. Yeah, My mine other doesn't power do that. supply had a reset button. Oh, man. It's Black copper cool. strips. <laughs> Dave's going. <laughs> well, what are you, Dave, are you starting a 3D print right now? Um, do you guys want to watch me put one together? Oh, do boy. It, do it. Come on, Dirty. Well, I mean, this is it means Falcon your two, stream, It's your but... two hours of Falcon building time. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> right? oh, the rules. Damn, it's almost 8 o'clock now, and all I got was some photo edge put on. Yeah, I, I, I got basically nothing accomplished except figuring out the polarity of the uh, four-pin leads. We did have a good time, and I'm building some... What are we calling these? These are maintenance pits? Maintenance recesses, the holes. Cool. Maintenance pits, yeah, that sounds about right. Could be. There you go. Nice. Now, as I drop these in, let's see. What, what do we want to start with? Because here's Va- we can start with Vader. Here's his uh, blade. <laughs> okay, that's for hollow. Good. I I have to hollow it. You, you you have to hollow them in here. So you go in here and you choose... Where am I at here? What, what program is this? Lychee. I have Lychee Pro. I almost downloaded that yesterday. It's, and then I it, realized that Anycubic has a Photon Workshop, which works phenomenally. Okay. I I just learned Lychee and I like this the best. So if you go over here and hit hollow and then you can have the uh, 3D uh, hollowing if you want it. I know a lot of people use Cheeto Box for the supports, and then they use they bring it into Lychee for all, everything else, like the slicing, the hollowing. Yeah, I use Lychee for everything. I only use Cheeto Box to send it because Lychee doesn't like to send it over. So what I do is I I do I do all the supports in Lychee, export it to an STL or wait, where do I export it to? To uh. Dot, yeah, no, wait, no. Yeah, I export, <laughs> I export it to an STL file, and then I open it in Chitubox. Because I've actually sent stuff. So it says here you can export it as a Chitubox CTB file, but I've actually done that from Lychee, and it mirrored it. I was like, why are my parts not fitting? It made a mirror, which was the weirdest thing ever. But anyway, I want to see what – here. here's Darth's head. Let's throw that in here. The cape is going to be massive. Oh, there's a cape. Oh, the bane of resin printers is the cape. There's his head. Oh, cool. So this is a 10-inch build plate, so that's a pretty big head. 
some arms. <clears throat> Gosh. Okay. Arms pretty big. And they have it going up. I like that they have it pre supported because that makes my life that much easier. Because like if you've never done supports, it's it's an art form that you have to learn. You will not get supports right the first time. If you do, you're just lucky. Huh. What was that? Rattle can? <laughs> that sounded strange. All right. Oh wait, I can't do the lightsaber here because we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it in clear. I can't do that here. Okay, we're going back to this because I have great. You can, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to take that over. I was just saying that's what I was working on. I'll do this after stream. Sorry. Well, Don't be do sorry. Now. Now. No you worries. Do whatever you want to do now, but that's not what the stream is for. No, I know. Sorry, I, I I didn't know how to like share my screen without taking over. I didn't press any buttons. So that's that. So now we're gonna do the bottom side of it. All right. Hopefully, there's very very tiny parts in there. I already can tell my Falcon's gonna have all sorts of bent pipes and wiggly but wiggly bits. I just love being able to just flip a switch and spray nasty rattle can primer and not have it stink up the whole house. That's so cool. It's such a nice luxury. <clears throat> a man can dream. I can do the same thing for about seven hundred dollars less. He did. Yeah, but I can fit a Toyota Corolla in my spray booth almost. Well, that's true. Or that's just says this is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I had the math was done. Yeah. Woohoo. Are you on to the main body yet, Ian? No. No. I'm 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 flailing about not really accomplishing a whole lot on the uh, cockpit. Yeah, that's why I put it off to the side. Uh, Ian, did you uh I remember you light blocked the LED for the mandible headlight. What did you use? Did you just use tape or did you paint it? Um I used uh, heat shrink tubing. Oh, you just use the tube right over the top of it. Cool. I just put a. I, I once I drilled the hole for the fiber optic, I shoved it into the LED. Yeah. Uh, with a little bit of uh, Tamiya uh, extra thin. Yeah. And then I just put a piece of heat shrink around the whole thing and just heat shrunk it. Perfect. And that way, it blocks the light from the LED bulb, and the fiber optic doesn't put out a lot of light to the sides. So, just the standard primer and paint over the outside will cover that up. Perfect. That's all she wrote. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I was like, I gotta remember how I did that for the next mandible. I should probably actually do that instead of worrying about these stupid seats. But I don't want to paint these seats. I don't want to grow up. I'm Painting the seats was easy. Yeah, the seats are easy. That's yeah. You you, you say. Have you painted your minis yet? No, I gotta paint the minis. Well, they're harder than the seats. Yeah. Oh. Get some clippy sticks. I can't even see these things. Okay. No idea what I'm doing. Can't see a thing. You have Microsoft sticks? <laughs> clippy, clippy sticks. Yes, clippy sticks. Took him a second. Yeah, yeah. I, I miss Clippy. I liked him. Nosy little bastard. You're the Always. only person in the world that's ever said that. What? That I like Clippy? Yeah. Now, once they started making memes with him, I liked him again. Hey, it looks like you're writing a suicide note. <laughs> you like help can, I, that? Can, can I? Can I help? Yeah. Hey, can I help? Can I help? Damn you it! Oh. in there. What is this, Canada? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Remember, you could always change him too. Dave's like, aw. <laughs> aw. For all his for all his Canadian bros. Let's see what we got here. I need I need brown paint. What do I paint these seats? 
Tan. Leather. Tan. Leather. I got Nato Brown. Pink. DeLorean. That dark. I use wooden deck tan. I've got khaki. Khaki. I've got Jake from State Farm paint. No, that's probably not bad. That's a good light, color. Light brown DAC 1942. Just pick a light brown. Oh, look, another engine deck. Yellow brown DAC 1941. Are you just going to list off all your paints? No, I'm just trying to figure out which one to use. I got red brown. Oh, look oh, at more them. German pick tank one. parts. American tank parts. How's that color? All right. So many tank parts. That looks good. It looks like baby poop. It does. It's not brown enough? Great color. It's, little, mm -hmm. it's got a little Oops. too much green in it, I think. Too much yellow. A lot of Be bananas. careful not to bend or break it. How about this you one? Say that about all these parts. Say that about all your That's friends. a little dark. That's perfect. Flat earth? Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good yeah, color. Okay. Let's see what other options I may have available. I paint, I paint it by in a little more yellow. That way it would be more brown when it dried and not too I mean when I weathered it and not too brown. Yeah. If you feel like like Jordan said a wooden deck tan and then use a uh, brown wash, that'll really work. I've got Ow. dark yellow. Nah. Ow. The no. mold those tiny little eyelets. Yo, look at that. Focus on them. How did they mold those two of them? Won't even focus. Oh. Desert yellow. Very enough. carefully, I would say. Uh, oh my god, yeah. those eyelets are tiny. And super thin. It says be careful not to break them. Oh yeah, well tell me that now. Two. <laughs> Red brown. Oh, and they're on the top you have to push in. Oh, okay. No problem. Let cool. me get right on that. You got it. Really big. That chocolate brown. <clears throat> Are you still trying to pick a brown? <laughs> That's so many browns. What can brown do for you? <laughs> I, for I forgot about those ads for a second. <laughs> Everyone did. That was honestly a pretty bad, terrible, that was a pretty bad campaign. I don't know. I don't know. I liked it. Oh, that's the inside. Oh, I need to paint that. I can't attach that. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I just what? realized that there is like uh, the hallway kind of goes down and end or yeah, it ends. Hold on. I attached it already. You attached? The oh, you got to paint that. Do I though? You could take it out. Because I can take this piece off, and then you'll see in there, huh? Are you going to have yours flying or landed? Flying. Then and you, you don't... won't see that, because the ramp will be closed. Oh, right. This is the bottom. Oh, <laughs> oh. That's, right. That's right. There's a landing gear. I just grabbed the part. I didn't look at it. Yeah, it's going to be flying, so I see what you're saying. Because that's where you'd... See. Okay. Yep, not worried about it then. That's the ramp where they come out of the ship. Yeah. That'd be a real pain in the butt to try to paint later. Holy cow. Maybe I should just airbrush these seats. Should I airbrush these yeah. seats? Go for it. I think it's a good idea. I gotta prime them a little bit at least. You do you. They're shiny. I didn't prime nothing. My God, Todd, you're just a brute. I prime everything, but that's just habit. Yeah, it's a good bit of habit to get into, though. I'll yeah. prime the outside, but it's not like sand painting the cockpit. I want to build as much as possible and then paint everything up once. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do on the exterior, but 
These little fiddly things. That's why I put the cockpit on the side, because that's that's all fiddly stuff. Are you gonna light it? Yeah. But just with the stock lighting, I wasn't gonna do anything else. Yeah, but you'll still have to be able to get inside there before you put the body together. Yeah, they show you how to when to put the lighting in, how to route it, everything. I'm just going to follow their instructions. I wasn't going to add anything extra. That's what I did. <clears throat> With the back wall, it casts enough light. So. <laughs> oh. But nothing blinks. Dash, I am. Yes. Yeah, I was just laughing at that. Yep. 3PO is going to be hanging out the big the gash on the bottom of the ship. Probably have them hanging by a little cord or something. All right. I think that's the maintenance pit done. No, you're left. What is this? D41. Did I miss that? Oh, yes. Yes. You know, now that I think about it, I don't even know if my my power supply even beeps at all. I don't know. I mean, it's just over there just sending current, doing its thing. Alright. Why, why am I on this camera? I should be on this one. Oh my god. Somebody pay attention. I don't know. Why? Do you people pay attention to what I'm doing? Well, we didn't know that's not the camera you wanted to be on. Yeah, Todd. All the tiny details. <clears throat> Paying attention to our own builds, Todd. I'm not a mind reader, Todd. My wife would be happy yeah. otherwise. <laughs> so Same. true. The convenience of rattle can primer. I, I don't know if I'll ever not have some. I have all the airbrush primer, pots of paint, but Ooh. I don't think I'll ever. You'll, you'll have to pry these rattle cans out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> this Charlton nest in my rattle cans. Not sure how I feel about these engines. I have to paint them apart. A lot of people uh, will paint, they'll paint the engine vents separately. Yeah, because before they go in the model, and then they'll tape them off. Or they'll, what they'll do is they'll paint the body. Uh, when they go to paint the body, they just avoid that area and just let it kind of overspray in there a little bit to kind of add some variation. <laughs> Dave, have you watched people build the model? No. Probably a good idea. Oh, where's the fun in that? I'm Seriously. just saying. I'm just I'm thinking because if we're going to paint the engines will be like a black color, right? Needle black. Yeah. And then the body's going to be not quite white. black. Always, always needle black. It's always needle black. black. It's rubber black. But, but then the body part is white. So, yeah. right, so you can't... Like yeah, the grills. Work. The grills are white, but the inside vents... Yeah. Like, the little or, vents inside is what I was going to make, like, the dark. Yeah, those are black. Yeah, yeah right, so... NATO black. I think what I'll do is... NATO black hmm. has, like, built-in starship filth. It's yeah, the perfect yeah, right. black. <laughs> I'm going to assemble this then for painting it later. I guess I'll put the engine vents in, but not the grills, because the, the grills aren't going to help. The girls are going to get in the way. All right. What am I doing here now? Let's see. I've got to paint the seats. Ooh. 
Yeah. Ooh, nice squeakies. Sounds like you're calling in some turkey. That is painful. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, Todd. That's a normal. The Bandai plastic and nanofiles create the most ungodly awful sound. Yes, they do. Their plastic is so resonant with the glass file. Like if you did that to it to me, a kid, it wouldn't sound the same. It there's something weird with their styrene. Wait, is Chewy like sitting there with his arms behind his head? Oh no, yeah. I'm looking. Oh, that's 3D Falcon parts. They got Chewy with his arms behind his head, <laughs> like chilling out. They have four different sets of figures. Jeez. Ta oh God, dear oh, God, that Todd. Me. Oh, that's literally nails on a chalkboard. It just went down my spine. I just got like a chill. Yeah, fingernails. Hey, yep. Yeah, look, Mark two figures. Oh, Todd, you got to mute yourself. You're killing the audience. <laughs> <laughs> You're torturing poor Mark over there. This man's a grizzled, a grizzled veteran. And he's just like, no, make it stop. Waterboarding I can handle. Bringing him to tears. Here, I'll be <laughs> Waterboarding I can handle. He, I'm sure he could handle waterboarding. And then Todd's sanding some Bandai plastic. And poor, poor Mark's crying uncle. Hey, Ken. <laughs> so you don't want to do it. We should start a, with the uh, ramp open. And a couch, couch on, on the ramp. ramp. <laughs> Was that Family Guy? Something, something, something. We should something, start a raffle. Something, something, dock side, something, something. Yeah. Hey, Bruce. We should start um, a raffle. Everybody guess how many times Ian's going to say Bandai on the Wednesday night stream. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are, 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 you, are you all guys uh, going to use Tamiya or Archive X? Um, I am going to use Tamiya paint for the main color uh, because I'm an idiot. And I can actually spray to me a paint and get good results. Um, the other guys are going to use some. I don't know. What's everyone using? Um, probably for me is here. Because hey, what? Archive X sounds awful. Um, what sounds awful? Some Archive X paint sounds awful. I have no problem with it. That's mm -hmm. Donnie. I'm going to use uh, to me a paint. I'm gonna use Tamiya. I'm I'm using a mix of uh of white and deck tan, like four to one. Ooh, that's great. Uh, insignia white AS twenty for the base. Um, I have decided to try to paint the entire thing using these colors. After that, for all the details. Yeah, just for the different colors yeah. and the body panels, and the and then I'll I'll, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, cool. I'll tile lung oil streak it and add blast marks and. I have a bunch of Tamiya uh, Insignia White LP35, but I like I like it. I ripped through this one little jar so quickly, just painting something the other day. I forget what the hell it was. What, what was I? Oh, I was I was given a coat. What was, what was I doing it? Oh, it was on the uh, Tidarium shuttle. I guess I painted most of that shuttle with this one jar. I don't know. That's what I bought it for. The archive. The uh, the Insignia White was for either the Shuttle or the Falcon, one or the other. I have a pile of it, but it does paint very nice, The to me, a lacquer paints. I have some Insignia White to use on the Enterprise. Yeah, you know what? That Maybe that's what I got the Insignia White for, was for my, uh, my Enterprise refit. Builds. I'm looking at Todd's Millennium Falcon cockpit uh, for his. Uh... Which one for the Diag? His the Diag for the painting of the cockpit. Oh. Yeah, that brown's pretty good. It, it could it it could be a little yellower, I guess. Yeah, I, the, to be honest, the Diag one, I feel like the seats are a little too orange. Yeah, um, okay. But Fair, they started yeah. out with orange as the plastic. Like, the plastic is just this weird orange-red. Yeah. 
And the back seats, the pads are a little lighter. They're like a cream, like an off yeah. white, yellowed, older. So like white with a little buff in it, maybe. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the. Uh, let me use the uh, the Andy's Hubby Headquarters method of thinning to me a paint, which works fine for me, for 95 percent of their paints. Just open which her up. Is? I just open up the jar. I take oh, okay. X20A okay. and I fill it up to the bump in the glass lip, and that's it. Nice. And we put the lid on. Shake it. Write a nice, third. write a nice big letter T on here. And that's, that's pretty thinned. And that's good for uh, airbrush. Oh yeah, works perfect. Uh, the only ones it doesn't work perfect for that you have to sometimes thin a little more are metallics and clear colors. Okay. They're finicky sometimes. And also, if you do that with white, it's too thin. You have to put a little less in for white. Every other damn... <laughs> Dave. <laughs> nice tea. I like your tea. You, you taught me. I learned it from you. I just... I don't, I, I don't think I even got that from anybody. I think I just randomly was like... How do I know I've already thinned this? Oh, why don't I just write a T on the jar? Yeah, that was brilliant. I was like, that's a good idea. I wouldn't call it brilliant. I don't know if anything I've ever done is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen anybody else do it, so... There you go. I'll have to start saying that on videos more often, I guess. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Come on, Oni Lab, you can do it. I know I didn't buy the hundred dollar shaker. I should email the hundred dollar paint shaker people be like, hey, I got a YouTube channel. You want me to paint shaker on my workbench? They'd reply in like Mandarin and be like, go F yourself. <laughs> you may buy on Amazon. Here is link. <laughs> if we do it, we. Yeah. We do it, we. Oh, God. Oh, dear. I, I know you think I'm crazy for buying one of those, but I'm telling you, the difference between that and the one you ha have I is never almost said you're as crazy. big. It's almost as big as the difference between shaking them by hand and using the one you have. Uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't think you're crazy for doing it. It's just at the moment, I was just like, I can't spend $100 on this thing. I just had a mental issue with it. Just personal. Like, I will spend stupid amounts of money on things all the time. And for some reason, that paint shaker triggered something inside my little Jew part of my brain. And it was like, no, no. How much did you spend on beer last week? $100 also? No, no. That's that's a week's worth of beer. So this, this is the part. Uh, remember I told you there was a part uh, that I ordered from Shapeways? That was in me, uh, Todd. You, uh, oh, you ordered... yeah, the little uh, screen door thingies. Yeah, it looks like a side of a barrel of some sort. But yeah, this yeah. Is, this it's so it's D. What part is this? D thirty. D thirty. I was talking about that part. How you're supposed to hollow it out? Yeah. So this. Could is you zoom in thing. a little more on that? Hold on. Let's that. just big you. Hold on. I don't know how much. I don't know how focused it's gonna get. Oh gonna no, be... it's it's a mess. It's gonna try, but it's not gonna be able to focus on anything. <laughs> It's too bright in there. So the like so oh yeah the three D printed maybe, part. Maybe it is too hot. Let me just kill some of the lights and see if it's just the you know the camera. It could be that it's just a little too hot. Let's turn the lights down. Shouldn't be. I have lights all the way around mine. I know, but yeah, but you don't have Todd lights. In, when you zoom in, it gets. You mad. just have to zoom out a tiny bit. <clears throat> working on it. There you go. I think that's about. So it. how much was that part, Todd? Uh, like. Four dollars or something, but this one actually has the cuts in it, right? So it actually has the hollow bits. Yeah, oh, wow. all the little holes drilled out. The holes are drilled out, and the little slots are cut out of it. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Cut. Did you guys determine what this was? Part of the Falcon. <laughs> oh God! It, it, it might be another piece of tank mantlet that they just drilled a bunch of holes into. I don't know. Well, that that actually looks like the front. Uh, transmission case of a Sherman. No, yeah. really? 
No. Yeah, think about it one seventy second scale. It's really tiny. I don't think you know what I think that might be is the inner mantlet on a model. Like a Panther inner mantlet plate that like yeah. holds the that arms. Could be it, but, think, but think those little two little L notches could be for the uh for the tow hook cable the, the tow hooks. Well, Dave, we could we could settle this nerd to nerd. We could just go to that crazy guy's website where he listed every model kit and part they used. Probably. Yeah. So. It looks like an inner mantlet from a Tamiya I, Panther I tank. Disagree. I don't disagree. It could definitely be a mantlet. Because the mantlets are usually like multiple layers. So yeah. you'll have the outer armor layer, and then you'll have an inner plate that holds on like the little arms that let it, um, you know, uh, rotate up and down. Mm-hmm. And that looks suspiciously like an inner mantlet plate. Yeah, with some extra stuff thrown on it. With some extra holes drilled in it. And... It's got these four little tabs like it's almost a... It's an in... hinge. Yeah, it's, it's an inner part. that Those are probably locating tabs for the original model. I don't know. It, it's just my best guess, Todd. All right. and, and Dave doesn't completely disagree with me. Honestly, it was, it was like the only part I could find that had anything to do with this model so this this is basically them saying hey you know the model's pretty good except for this part <laughs> mark graduated the powerpoint years ago from blackboards <laughs> bruce said so true for something but i have no idea what we were talking about when he said that so we're not paying attention to the comments like real good streamers do who said we were oh wait streamers? we have comments Oh, Jesus, Donnie. All right. Let me get this out of the way. This thing up here. It's cockpit bits. So now these back seats need to be black. And the front seats need to be brown. I gotta paint the cushions separately. Let's throw a little paint into the old airbrush. A little paint in the family truckster. <laughs> Oof, my air pressure's up really high. Yeah. 20 PSI is plenty. Do, 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 do. That's what it looks like on there. There we go. Centers on that box. That's it. Get painted. No, it needs this part. There you go. There we go. Right about meow. Oh, damn it. I got paint on my <laughs> pants. Well, that's another pair of pants ruined. That's all right. Oh, let me take a little alcohol and try to wipe that off. Always getting paint on myself. I do that regularly. Don has yeah. got a whole painting outfit. I do. So he has does those, Ian. He's got those special shorts. Well, <laughs> I have the whole paint explosion outfit. I don't Every even know where those paint pants went. You shake. <laughs> <laughs> that it's, was it's good. Only, it's only when the pliers come out, things get crazy. Uh, back to the booth. They don't mention on these decals that you should trim away the white around the edges. Someone tell Dave we're making the Falcon. <laughs> I'm just cleaning it up because I'm, I'm trying to get this STL figured out. I only have a few minutes. I got a curfew, you know? Yes, you do. Oh, yeah. We, we know. so good, by the way. We yeah. know, Dave. Got a little seat. Look at that. That's a nice color. What do you think? That looks really good. Looks yeah. good. That's... What, what color did I use? Flat <laughs> Earth. XF52. Flat Earth? Yeah. Whoa. A great color. It is. I love flat earth. Uh, even though it's not. Uh, 
Uh, it's actually describing uh, the color and uh, the finish. I know. There we go. <laughs> Dave Chase is asking a question. Have you ever found any falcon bits on your tank? <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for them now, that's for sure. That's pretty good. He's definitely got He's his like, eye. Oh out. my god, this is on the left mandible. As he's <laughs> it's on the mandible. They actually are there's so many. He, he's good. so excited. I'm telling you that's the only reason why he's building this. Because there's tank parts all over it. Yeah, because there's tank parts everywhere. This it's like the totally two things play. that he does like it's tanks and Star Wars. It's like fantastic. It's like the two best things, right? Right there. There's a German engine deck. What else did we find? Well, we'll sucker, we'll sucker Dave into building a refit enterprise one of these days and watch him crack. No, watch him, watch him, do, watch him build it perfectly for a show. Yeah, watch him build it perfectly in one week. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure. like, I hate you, Dave. You got your tank in my Falcon. No, you yeah. got your Falcon in my tank. <laughs> Which came first, oh, well, the Falcon or the tank? Yeah, uh, the tank. The tank. <laughs> There's your panther. That's definitely a panther turret. Or a Which was first, the falcon yeah. or the egg? Yeah. You got lots of them. Yeah, all of them. yeah that was, that was, th that's so easily spottable as a panther mantlet. Yeah. There's a bunch of, like, what Unless looks your to name be is Donnie. Like, like 148 scale engine deck parts that are still, we still didn't put on yet. They're much bigger scale. Yeah. Well, it's nice because they could use the same style of like you know the exhaust fan grates on the engine deck and they can get the kit in 172 135th 148 and have a uniform style of grating in perfectly different sizes so you know <laughs> to, to be honest it probably wasn't nearly that complicated they probably walked down to the nearest hobby store and said what kind of models you got we got a lot of tanks over there in the corner cool We'll take well, them. no, they they literally That's exactly did exactly what they did. They, they went to the local hobby shop and cleared it out, basically. Yeah. Yep. That's yep. exactly what they did. Because all those guys were still model model builders at home, probably too. So they're like, I know the perfect something something kits to get for this. Like, what do you need? We just need junk everywhere. They're like, okay, buy everything. Tanks, junk in the yes. Trunk. Planes, yes. Formula One cars, sure. Random Volkswagens, okay. I wonder if I could sneak a little tiny SMD on the bottom of those. What, those side panels? Wings. Yeah. Oh, come on, Donnie. Of course you can. Yeah, but I just don't want it to be, like, obvious. You know what I mean? You mount the console and you look in and you go, oh, there's an LED hanging down there. Well, no, what you do is you just cover it with, uh, you, you stick it on the bottom, and then you cover the back of it with, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, tulip. Yeah. You'll get no light bleed out the bottom. Or don't do that, and you'll have footwell lighting. I wonder if they <laughs> There's drain right? holes in the helmets, and that drives me nuts. There's what? The model do it right. They put drain holes in the top of the helmets. Okay. The very top? Seems That's a little silly. Weird. Thank you. I don't think I want to spray these with black primer. It's too glossy and black. Let me use some NATO black. Oh, NATO black's not primer. NATO black is primer. That is crazy, Dave. That's My weird. friend, I will fight you. <laughs> NATO black is paint. NATO black is my primer for armor. Dave, back me up over here, buddy. What's that? I use NATO black as my base primer for every armor kit I build. Yeah, it works. Oh, and then boy, I do the then I do the white highlights in the centers of the panels, and then I just paint I, the damn thing. I didn't disagree with that. I just said NATO black is not primer. I didn't realize uh, what we did. Holy cow. My camera just decided to zoom in, I guess. I beg to differ. <clears throat> All right, gentlemen. I'll catch right, you guys later. All right, Dave. Later, Dave. Have a, good Have a good one. Say hi to the wife for us. Oh, we'll do. <laughs> Say hi to my wife. My wife, your wife. Your wife. That's not at all weird. It's like, you know, you, when you say to your friends and your kids, say hi to your mom for me. 
Oh. Like, totally different connotation. Yeah. Let's see. Wait, where the hell is my NATO black? What the? What? Where? Well, we're, ah. we're, we're at two hours. Holy what? crap. Yeah, that's why Dave left. Yeah. Well, I crashed out a few times. I'm giving myself a few extra minutes here. Well, I guess I gotta mix up a fresh jar of needle black. Wonder if I have any. <laughs> oh no! Birds fly. This takes I me down. Two. This takes me down to only. I uh, only got six left after this one. Oh no! That's the bottom of a boat. What will you ever do? Bottom of a I boat, Todd. Bought. Yep. Oh, on the underside of a car chassis. There's the exhaust yes. pipes, the rear. Gas yeah, Dave was talking pipes. about that earlier. Yeah, yeah. welcome oh, to an hour the, ago, oil. Todd. You know what? I'm kidding. <laughs> You're definitely right, though. That's definitely... I, I quit. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start sanding plastic again. <laughs> you weren't listening when Dave was nerding out over the car chassis and the mandible. And then me saying mandible. 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 I didn't know he was talking about do, this. Do, 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 do. Mandible. mandible. Do, 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 do. Okay, that works, too. I guess it's I, okay. That's the now a thing. Oh dear God! Dave left, and we dropped five viewers. <laughs> They're all here for Dave. Yeah. <clears throat> Unless it was Dave watching in the back. Dave, yeah. Dave, Dave, and Dave were all watching. They're all the same Dave. Dave's not here. There's only one Dave. Dave, Dave was watching, and his wife was watching to make sure he gets off at eight. Probably. <laughs> Uh, Dash said, uh, Adam Savage talks about the Falcon modeling he worked on Clone Wars while he was at ILM. And, uh, <laughs> they cleaned out more than just one hobby shop. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. No, not at all. Started going through <clears throat> all of the surrounding areas around ILM and just wiping out hobby shops one after the other. Well, the hobby shop what? owners to are like, honest, I can they retire. Probably opened, they probably opened up model shops because ILM was nearby. They probably did. They're like, oh, these guys, they're going to come buy everything. What do you mean? Everything. <laughs> they're like, oh, a, a, a new show is starting? Oh, get ready for this. A new the hobby shop new? owner's like, well, guess I'm closing for the next three days until I can refill inventory. You guys heard about the great part shortage of 77? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every model shop in the, in the Hollywood area in California was just wiped out instantly. All right, yes. nice and shaky. That is, that is definitely a car chassis. Could be a truck chassis. It Let's wants to see. With everything else, but not that. There's exhaust pipes going back, gas tank. There's the bottom of the engine. Middle black. Do, 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 do. Oh, you could do it with anything now. Damn Why it! Why is it black? Twelve oh six. Did I? Oh my god. Good gas tank. Yeah, but which car is it? A very long one. It might be a pickup truck. Gas, gas tank. I'm not sure that part they added where the axle used to be. But this is not part of the car. But that's like a spare tire carrier right there. <laughs> There's a spare tire carrier underneath it's the back really of it. Trying. That might be a pickup truck chassis. That's what I was thinking. You know, it really came close to focusing. But now it doesn't want to. <laughs> this camera is supposed to have the ability to focus at five centimeters. I've never seen it do it. but Only when it's zoomed all the way out. No, even zoomed all the way out. That's five centimeters. Oh, look, it's trying. It's, it's focused. Ish. Yeah. Ish. It's like I have mine way zoomed in now. If I see nothing. Gas tank, exhaust pipes, mufflers. There we go. Frame rails, bottom of the engine. Cute. Cute. All right, so that should be dry. There we go. Yeah. Got another seat painted. Well, I flung oh. apart, and that is long gone. So. Do what? You launch? You launch something? I lost a very tiny piece, and I am just not gonna even bother. Nah. 
I thought you said I flung a fart. Oh, your Millennium <laughs> Falcon will be forever incomplete. It will be. No, it won't. He'll find it one day. Or he'll he'll sneeze and there'll be a booger that dries on his desk and it'll look just like the part. He can just put that on. Yep. ILM style. Hey, my granddaughter has found parts under my desk that I lost months ago. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I don't know yeah, how she did that. I window next to me and it just bounced. Okay, there's all four of those seats. What kills me is when you drop a part and you actually see where it landed. And then you yeah. get down there and you get it, and it's not there. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the part the part likes to take a little jog sideways when it hits the floor. You're like, I saw it bounce and land right there. Nope, sorry. <laughs> Hide and seek. Psych. Eh, wrong answer. You'll never find me. You'll never catch me, kappa. Okay, I know. I just put an SMD down here. There it is. So you're adding SMDs underneath the wings of the uh I'm going to try. It's mm, a noble effort. If they end that up being like somebody was just hitting a bong. What happened? It sounded like bubbling water. Is somebody bonging over there? No, I was I was uh, back feeding to clean my airbrush. Oh. Yeah, I could do that again. <laughs> I don't know. That might be code like uh, washing your hands. Uh huh. I'm back feeding right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back feeding right now, dude. Yeah, we have a time yeah. entry at work for our time sheets called Idle. So, <laughs> like, I'm in the bathroom, you know, I get out of there. Like, the guys are like, hey, where were you? I was trying to call you. I said, sorry, I was taking a I'm huge right. Idle. <laughs> Is this silver paint dry yet? Uh, uh. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Try enough. Tweezers, where are you? I will never not be able to unsee this car chassis. <laughs> On the inside of the mandible, I'm never going to be able to unsee that. This mandible, this car chassis. Mandibles. Do, do, I'm going to have do, some do. kind of freaking crazy nightmare about, like, Bugs tonight when I'm asleep. <laughs> bugs. I, I need to go to Disneyland now and see if there's a truck chassis on the inside of a full size one. Yeah, what's that bug that like eats other bugs? A, a lot mantis. of bugs do that. A lot of bugs. No, but the scary green one, praying mantis. Praying I mantis, said praying uh, mantis. Yeah, yeah they got the things in the front of their mouth, and it's gonna like praying just be eating me. Mantises are not scary though. They're cool no, as they're shit. Not, they're not scary. They're all over the place here. Yeah, here too. They're not scary to us, but they're scary like to the bugs they prey on. Scared well, of me. Yeah. Scared of people who don't like bugs. Hey, and don't they have, like, their armed force is like us moving at, like, 400 miles an hour? Yeah, it's terrifying. Can yeah, they can, they can, their, their front arms, they can move so fast when they're grabbing something that it'd be like us, you know, breaking somebody's neck in the speed of light. It would just be silly. Ow, 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 ow! I dropped the paint jar. Didn't explode. We're okay. Everyone's fine. Nothing to worry about. Uh, got a good shaking at least. After uh, the oh 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 oh. Oh, I think I just idled a little bit. <laughs> wow. Man, I, I just took a shower at lunch. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's all warm and squishy down there now. Oh. We didn't need to know that. It's okay. My wife ordered Chinese food. I'm just going to go upstairs, eat some of it, and go, Oh my God, what happened? Excuse you. I have an excuse. It's like, honey, why uh, Why did you crap your pants? I was like, ah, it was the fried rice. Did we decide what kind of V12 engine block this is? For the headlight, where the headlight is? Uh, it's, it's from, from like, from some Formula Indy One car, car, ain't it? Or Indy, is yeah. It, it's, it was F from some sort of, yeah. It was... 
some sort of Indy or Formula One or something kind of a car. I'm so glad this is I thought this camera was good. What if I put something that's got interesting stuff on it? Will it focus on that? No? No? Nothing? Bueller? Anyone? <laughs> Todd broke his camera. Oh, look, it just focused. Yeah. So there you that's go. Definitely, that's definitely the engine top of some kind of beast. I think you need to go through the menu and look around. I think there's a setting where you can turn it autofocus or focus where you touch on the screen. Yeah, but I, I set to center. I didn't Todd, really mess with that it. looks like actually a dry sump oil pan. No, then why would it have exhaust ports? Those are definitely exhaust manifold ports or maybe an intake manifold. I don't know. The center part looks like a ribbed dry sump oil pan. Ribbed for my pleasure. I mean, it's Ugh. very possible it's the bottom of an engine. <laughs> I have no idea. But you're right. Those do look like exhaust ports. But why would they be flat like that? That's a weird design. <clears throat> Unless it was like a boxer engine. Formula One cars do have weird designs. That is not a three mil. That a three mil would be way too big. No, no, no. I put like a fiber a optic. No, I put a, a one millimeter fiber optic. No, I'm, I'm going to put a 1.8 in there. You're just going to put a bulb right in there? Why don't you use a lighthouse? I. What do you think I'm going to do? That's well, what I, I mean, used on the small one. The lighthouse is smaller than 1.8, I think. No, it's 1.8. Really? Yeah. I just have to find it. Some of them are 1.8. Some of them are 2. Breathing LEDs. Square LEDs. Yeah, what, have I, what did I use? The 1 or the 1.5 one mil fiber optic? I forget. Oh. Square LEDs. That's the ones that the other LEDs pick on, right? Hey, Jordan, what size fiber optic did I use in my mandible last time? One millimeter, and that's what I used. Okay. <coughs> uh, one millimeter. It puts out plenty of light, the one millimeter. Yeah. A ton of light. And you just leave a little extra sticking out and then snip it off when you're done painting. You got to snip it off with God hands, though. No, you don't. Jesus fingers. God hands. Form, form white. Wheatons. Bags. Quill Wheaton. Yeah. Bags of pre-existent LEDs. Female eats you while you're humping her. Oh God. Stay cool. Oh no, this has, these are flat top LEDs too. <laughs> Sweet. I'm afraid you soiled yourself while you were unconscious. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, uh. I don't know if anyone. I, I mean, come on. I'll admit, I'm human. I've, we've, we, I've. It's happened. I, uh, when I was a field tech, I used to keep a spare pair of boxers in my backpack after having a shard incident at a customer where I had to go commando afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always keep spare pair. underwear. Yep. I always got an extra pair of pants and underwear in my car. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Just in case that drive through was a worse idea than I thought yeah. it was before I ordered. You don't want to be accidentally forgetting to wear your brown pants today. Yes. You know, I thought I could trust that sneeze. Yeah. As I say, while I sat there brokenhearted, tried to shit, but only farted. Then when Dad took a chance, tried to fart, shit my pants. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't get heard the, that in a long time. <laughs> get the best limericks out of restaurant managers, I'll tell you. Oh, I can't. Just, just yeah. you and proctologists, you know? <laughs> Find yourself at a party with a restaurant manager or a proctologist. You just plant yourself there. You're going to hear the best stuff That's of your life. Right. I've had to stop telling jokes because they were insensitive. Oh, of course. Well, you're also in Seattle. That's correct. The the home of the trigger warning. That's right. They've invented it. There you go. Where's the, oh my god, I'm on the camera. There you go. Uh, okay. You, go. you just shove that right in the hole. I'm going to drill this out. Watch this. Boop. Fits right in there. I'm just going to glue it right in the back of the part. 1.8 fits perfectly. Drill, drill a hole to the outside. Boop. Glen. Glued. How are you going to light block it? What do you mean light block it? Oh, yeah. It's going to screw up the hole, isn't it? It's going to make this that, whole part glow. Yes. That's why I did the fiber optic and the heat shrink tube over a, a regular LED. Mm -hmm. God, you're so needy. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm, I'm trying to be helpful. 
You're so Spray good. a little black on the outside of the part. Problem solved. Oh yeah. You could do that too. No, I got an idea. Donald just found a perfect grade available online with a very minimal markup from MSRP and snagged it. Was it not Andy's Hobby Headquarters? Or are you not in the U.S.? But either way, good find, Donald. That is awesome. Recommend for a good start learning LED incorporation. Uh, to NBC training a week in the same NBC suit and wearing my oh dear uh, oh those NBC suits they're uh, they're they're sweat boxes. Gas this gas gas. Gonna, <laughs> gas gas this gas. Is gonna, this is going to be exactly what the state the studio model looks like. Of, now I know what that tube like. was around the side of it. A sort of <sighs> starter package, or what would you recommend as a good start for learning LED incorp? Hey Todd. Yeah, he should check out the site. Yeah, uh, Donald, you should go to mypartworks.com. No, go to my enterprise D. Or myenterprised.com. And Todd has. Mod, go into the mod section. Yep. And look for the model remodel. And there's a whole section that talks about electronics, literally starting from like, I know nothing about electronics. Yes. And, and it works uh, its way up into Bluetooth and audio and using Arduino and programming code and everything. But the, at the most basic thing for LEDs, Donald. Um, you just go on Amazon, just type in three millimeter or five millimeter LED, and they'll have like variety packs with a bunch of colors for like, you'll get like hundreds of them for like 10 bucks. And you just oh. need some thin wire and Todd's website. And then you'll be like, oh, I need resistors. And they have variety packs of resistors. And, you know, you could start powering things with just like, you know, double A or nine volt, whatever, watch, you know, button cell batteries and then move up to a power supply later on when you find the uh, expense is worth the usage but yeah you know, todd's and website you, and, and i and if you guys have never seen this before do you know what this is no this every time i have to do any kind of drilling i use this i love this this thing is great with the ribs inside i just put the part on here and i can drill right into it because it's made out of rubber it's made out of hard rubber this is an anti-vibration mat for an air compressor um, you can buy a set of them for like four for any like heavy metal machine because I have a big air compressor out in the garage. And this was the feet that I used to use. And these things, it's, it's rubber, right? Yeah. That's oh a my good idea. God, is this a fantastic little tiny little workbench that I can like drill into? It's like having a piece of wood. You know, a lot of people. Yes, yeah, so you don't drill into your workbench. Oh, yeah. I don't drill into my workbench. I'm not trying to drill into my hand. You know, oh, I love putting this thing on there and I put it, I put the screw right in. And it's it. rubber, so it's got some traction to hold the part yeah. in place. And then it's a perf perfect little hole. Awesome. Yep, right now, right spot. Yep. That's actually a pretty good idea. I don't know if I've ever showed anybody that because I don't use it very often, but when nope. I do, I love having them. I have <clears throat> Never saw that before. Oh, nice. Much better. So what do I got to do? I got to put my photo etch on... Oh, this light blocking did not work that great, but it doesn't need to because I'm going to put black over this. Sideways. <clears throat> yeah, Donnie, I'm not going, going the route of SMDs underneath those two wings on that thing. That's just pure insanity. No, it's not. <laughs> For me, it is. Look, that's the way it looks right now. <clears throat> slide this SMD under there. Come here, you little bugger. Oh, the wire came out. Oh. Hang on, let me put the wire back in. Oh man, damn it. <laughs> you just did it to yourself, dude. Wow. Mandible. Do, 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 do. Mandible. There we go. There you go. <clears throat> oh, dude. Oh, yeah. That looks great. How are you going to hide the wires? Just run them right down the side of the console. Okay. Huh. Just put the LED up there sideways so the wires come out and just go right down the side of the console and go right out through the hole with these. 
What, did you drill a little hole or just scrape off some paint on the bottom? I just scraped off some paint. That thing's too <laughs> thin to drill a hole. Yeah, yeah. you're right, yeah. Uh, it does look good. Did you solder those leads in that SMD yourself? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's these. Oh, Jesus, Donnie. I don't know how you do that. Wow. I got, I got to solder another one for the other side, so. Once I learn to pre tin them, it's no problem. If you don't pre tin them, it's a pain in the ass. <clears throat> oh, and magnifier glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Get this bowl of decal water out of the way, man. They came Jordan, today, and uh, the uh, the racer glass file works perfect for taking the nubs off of photo etch. Really, I used the Dremel tool for that. Yeah, no, I just I just use the racer. Sweet, file. good to know. I love the racer works perfect on it. But they came today in. Uh, Changed out the valve on the water meter outside, you know, that, that you, where you can shut off the water to the whole house. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I went out there to turn it off the other day to fix a little valve in the kitchen, and the little knob just snapped off. No, that's so no they fun. came and changed it out today, and I, I had forgot all about it. I went in there a while ago to get some water to do those decals with, turned it on, water's coming out, and then all of a sudden it just goes, <laughs> and just all over me. I'm like, son of a... Oh, yeah. <laughs> How'd it go? Well, you had air in your lines from the water main, yeah. from from the change. Yeah, when when our water main blew up, I was very careful. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start the bathtub first. Well, I usually sink. do that, but I had just forgotten all about it. Well, the funny, the one that scared me the most was we have a pot filler over our stove, and that's at the far end of the house. And uh, I'd I'd cycled every faucet and toilet in the house. I did all the faucets first, then I did the toilets, the showers, the bathtubs, and like two weeks goes by, and I'm going to boil some pasta, and I turn on the pot filler to fill my pot with water, <laughs> it just, and it just That's sprayed wrong here, it. It, just, yeah, it just, it was at the end of the, it was at the end of the plumbing run for the house. Yep. It was the furthest away fixture from the main, and it just went, I was like, ah, oh, son of a. And then it was like nasty water, so I had to like wash the whole pot out again. I was I was a little pissed off. Of course, of course, my wife she was just like laughing her friggin' ass off the whole time. She's like, right? "What happened?" I said, "The pot filler attacked me," and she was just like, "I don't even know what the hell's going on," but that sounded funny. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, it was all at my expense." What are you using the glue on this photo etch, Donnie? Just CA? Yeah. Yeah, probably the way to go. I just took a toothpick and dipped it in the CA and just kind of spread it evenly over there, laid the photo etch on it. Yeah, I need something to put some CA on, I suppose, here. Toothpicks work great for that. I don't know. I have many toothpicks. I took all the kitchen toothpicks. All we have left is those fancy cocktail toothpicks up there with the little ribbons on them. Yeah. I just went to Walmart and bought a package for like a buck fifteen. I just went to the kitchen and stole a package for free. No, it wasn't free. You paid for that package. It was in the kitchen. I didn't pay for it. My wife did. <laughs> I don't even know if she paid for it. They might have been free toothpicks. Uh, yeah, Mark, that definitely is an American thing. What, toothpicks? What's that? Solder. We pronounce uh, solder, solder instead of solder. Yeah, it's solder. Even though there is an L in it. Yep. 
very clearly. Donnie, this little pick and place tool. Did you get one of these things? Yeah. Oh my God. Isn't it great? It is like for putting the photo etch down. You just, you just stick it on the piece and drop it right into place. You know, I actually forgot to use it for the photo. Etch. Yeah. I love this little thing. Oh, no, I need to get one. Damn it. Oh, you do Jordan. Really, all we are, I mean, honestly, if we ever meet Jordan's girlfriend, she'll probably want to punch most of us in the face. So wait, you're his new friends? <laughs> like, you go, Ian, uh, watch. Yeah. One yeah, more. Donnie, Donnie, you are absolutely a madman with how you can yeah, do I'm that. Yeah, I'm watching him have... right now. Yeah, don't, don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, he, he spends doing? like Two 10%. Wires. He's he's putting wires on a little SMD chip, Todd. You know. Hey Steve, how you feeling, man? Hey Steve, how's your ass? There you go. Uh, we were just saying, Steve, that you could, uh, you know, feel free to work on your model for a few hours. You know, this week. Yeah, right? yeah. You, you could make up the Batman, lost time. Of course. I think you're the able point to... is though, he can't sit in a chair for very long right now. So. Yes, exactly. Yeah, he said that. He can lay on his back, and he'll never drop a part in his mouth or in his hair or in his beard or. Tailbone injuries are no fun. Nope. I don't Save think I could walk for like a day afterwards even. I think our two-hour streams have become three-hour streams. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean... I need to call it quits soon. I need to eat. It's fine though. Meal. We we need the advantage over Dave. <laughs> right? He has to go at exactly two hours. And that gives us time to hopefully catch up a little bit with him. Oops. Yeah, so Steve, you can have three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I screwed that up. Including your hour of staring at something with a frown. Because he's still on his shoulder. Scowling at something random. I screwed the pooch. What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? I'm, I glued that LED right in that hole that already existed. Right on uh -huh. the surface, Right? And it, yes. That's really meant for this pin. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, dear. Yeah, didn't didn't we say you have to drill a hole for that? Uh-oh. And that's going to make this tab not line up. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, dear. Todd uh -oh. screwed up. Uh-oh, SketiOs. <laughs> oh, oh no. no! Oh dear! You got any super glue debonder? No, I can pull that out, but it's it's the fact that now that 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 hole would be on the outside where that peg goes. Oh boy! Oh, you already drilled a hole through that. <laughs> oh no! I thought that was for the LED. I didn't realize that peg goes in this hole. Hmm. And if I, it won't mount the other way. Nope. No, Someone should have warned you. Mount. Make it fit, Todd. <sighs> okay. Man, this photo etch. This looks really some, nice. Some milliput or some tamia putty? Oh, I mean, I could fill the hole, but I'm not going to. What that fun would that be? An, that's an extra. It's an extra hole. This peg's yeah. gonna fill most of it anyway, so I'll just clean off the top end of the peg. And... This is gonna be a magic recess. Oh, Steve, that sucks, man. Lay down, tailbone is fine. Back muscles scream. Sit in the chair, back muscles feel great. Tailbone scream. So, Steve, yeah, you need was... to have a chair bed. Oh, that's maybe. That's what he was saying on Discord earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, Steve, I don't know if you have. Do you have an adjustable frame mattress? Like where you could put the head and the feet up, kind of make it almost a recliner type of thing. I have one of those, and it's glorious. That that fixed my back pretty much, getting that yep, bed. Yep, same. Or just go out and buy yourself a new power recliner. You got a good excuse. Medical, medical device now. Maybe you can even get the insurance to pay for some of it. Yeah, a lift chair. We got my dad a lift chair. He enjoyed it for about four days, and then he ended up in the hospital with appendicitis. 
God. He hasn't been home since before Christmas. Um, Well, they're discharging him from the uh, nursing home rehab facility on the 15th, uh, even though he's not ready to leave because he still can't really walk on his own very well. Um, But they said, Medicare, goodbye. Oh, man. Yeah, the VA did that to my dad. Yep. Bunch of jackasses. Which way does this thing go? Let's see. Let's look at the decal. V. Okay, that goes there. The decal? The decal. Mm. Art decal. Donnie, I just say it now just to trigger you. I think I dropped it in one of my videos this week. What? Oh, you said decal? Yep. That's okay. Uh oh, why won't this stick to my picking place? Did I get it oily or dirty or something? It sticks to this side. Lick it. It's because you said deckle. <laughs> it's because you touch yourself at night. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Who told you? Wow. Jeez. Not an, a- not an HTM stream, be nice. Yeah, no, no, no. True. Yes. Uh, how do you renew? Do you just like wash the tip of this pick and place tool if you get contamination it. on it? Stick it in your mouth, lick it for a little bit, dry it off, go back to work. Todd, this isn't an HTM stream. <laughs> watch it. <laughs> One of us is monetized here. <laughs> I don't care. Not this video. <laughs> Todd has that awesome gonna... uh, intro music, so no, I that intro that intro music is allowed on YouTube, so you should be able nope. to monetize this video just fine. It said ineligible. Oh, really? Every time, yeah. Oh well, too bad. I, I like I said, I, I don't really care. It's fine. On on my channel, uh, all of these uh, streams just say copyright, and then it explains, you know, this is copyright material, but it's allowed for use on YouTube. Yeah, because you're not monetized. Yeah, you can use it, you just can't monetize the video. You can't make money off of it. Yeah, rehabs are not fun places, Dash. No, they're not. No, you can't get your medical insurance to pay for medical stuff? Well, that's great, Steve. (laughs) Hashtag America. Yep. I think that's getting to be hashtag the world lately. Yeah. I basically told my mom, whatever bills they send you, don't pay them. And she's like, why? I said, because you don't have to. Yeah. Especially medical bills. And she said, why? I said, well, you don't. You, you rent your apartment. You don't own a car. You're on Social Security. What can they take? Nada. Yeah. Not a damn thing. So. My dad still has to go down to his medical appointment for the 9-11 Foundation thing to see if he qualifies for uh, payment. Oh, my God. These little bits of photo edge. It'd be the death of me. Stay. Oh my god, those are tiny. Ah, oh, they're so so small. Uh oh, text message. That can't be good. Oh wait, <laughs> no, it's just one of my friends. Oh Which parts are you doing? Dogs that are confirmed from Florida. Yeah, I'm doing the uh the console bits. Are you doing the little levers? Not that, not yet. That's that's Well the rest of it ain't that bad. I mean, for for me, it's... <coughs> oh, wait, magnifiers. Hey, that made everything look bigger. Oh, magnifiers are a must. Yeah, I use them in the morning when I go to the bathroom. They help a lot. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I figure okay. by now you just have one of those on the arm that hangs over the toilet. Yeah. This side of my picking place lost its stickiness. What's going on? Lick it. Stop it. How many times <laughs> do I got to tell you to just lick it? 
You just gotta lick it and stick it in place. That sounds like a a, a naughty rap song from the eighties, nineties. <laughs> it does kinda. There was a uh, well, there is a radio station, but there was a DJ on a popular rock radio station here in Seattle back in the early two thousands who got fired for having a promotion one night called Lick It for Tickets. And the whole promotion was to gross him out as much as he possibly could, and whoever grossed him out the most got tickets. People all over were puking, and uh, the dude got fired the next day. <laughs> wow. Dude, uh, the, dude that, the dude that won brought in a raccoon, a dead raccoon, and licked it. Oh, my God. Yeah. People were puking. It was hilarious. Was it, like, televised? No, but it was live on radio, and so, like, it was just that enough was enough for people to, like, lose their minds. Well, oh, there you this go. This one's going to be the death of me, man. I just lost another small piece. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's sad. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Damn it. We now know Jordan's weakness. You oh, have yeah, to no. be very, very careful. Yeah. I'm hunting webbits. Flinging small pieces. You didn't lose the piece. Let's just put it no. that way. It's, it's true. still It's still in your domicile. You just don't know where it is. Yeah. It's and not it gone. So if I ever find it, I'll be surprised. Just walk around barefoot in the dark. You'll find it. <laughs> You'll hear a crunchy, cracky noise and go, ow! And there's the part. Much better. Oh, that looks great, dude. Oh, wow. That is impressive. That looks fantastic, man. Just two little SMDs. I was really hoping the silver paint would have reflected enough out into there, but it just wasn't working. No. Oh, well. It's his fix now. Yeah. Now I can put the rest of the decals on. <laughs> there you go. That was just bugging the shit out of me. I had to stop putting decals on and fix it. Huh. Oh, son of a... Uh, Bruce, I I find that, like, for certain places, like, I'm still really new to it, but, like, uh, I really like going to Spray Gunner for most of my paint. And um, then Amazon for most everything else. <laughs> Favorite place to get supplies. Oh, man, so many. Um, so many. Though, Hob Hobby Link, H-O-B-B-L-Y-L-I-N-C. Hobby House Link is really good. Uh, Burbank House of Hobbies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, stuff. they're they're, they're real good. They're and great. They ship really fast. You know, um, I, I really like Andy's them. sometimes. USA new, Gundam Store. New Type. New Type. Um, new Type like has a lot of paint. Type. I don't like New Type, but they do have a good variety. Um yeah, there's, there's a bunch. I mean, honestly, you're doing a project, you need a certain color of paint, you just start searching, just go through that list of sites, and whoever has it in stock for the best price wins. This is part number 14. That's number 8. Where's number 14? That's 14? Oh, my God. That's the part that I just lost. What, the photo etch? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Another 14 somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, that's eight. Okay, that's 14. Okay. Bruce, Jordan knows exactly what you're feeling. Just coming back and, yeah. and collecting supplies. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
the advice that I have for you, Bruce, is <laughs> don't spend all your money at once and don't cheap out. Um, you will wind up having to replace things real quick. Um, that's what I found. So don't cheap out. And and your hobby budget is about 70% supplies, 30% model kits. That's right. Supplies and tools take up the bulk of your modeling budget until you've built up a good workbench. Um, and even then, if you're going to build You'll a model kit, more. You're like every time you get a kit, you're like, oh, I need this jar of paint, that jar of paint, these jars of paint. And then, God forbid, you go to a physical hobby shop to buy it. You're like, I just went for three jars of paint. It's like it should be written on a T-shirt as like a joke. <laughs> I only came in for paint. I actually I went into a, a hobby town and bought one jar of paint one time. And the dude looked at me and he's like, is that all? Really? Yeah. He's like, you must be new to this hobby. Yeah. No, he's seen how much I've spent there. And he's like, is this all really? Yeah. I find, though, that I don't go to Hobby Town as much as I used to back in the day. But I just don't have enough of the uh, variety of things that I need. Oh, your Hobby Town is... Uh, Small. Not as well stocked, possibly. Nope. And it's the only one around. There's there's only like, a, like two or three Hobby Shops in the entire area. Oh, that's sad. It is, actually. Am I supposed to glue handles onto this freaking thing? You gotta be shitting me. Those things are so tiny. <laughs> what? No. You all have lost your mind, paragraphics. Oh, hell no. No. Hell no. Yeah. I need a Q-tip. Uh, so many damn workbench drawers now, I can't remember where anything is. second rolling toolbox is really nice to have but I'm like which one where where do I go <laughs> dash rip died yes only cash leave credit cards at home 100% correct eh. sorry hobby town is now cashless yeah there you it's go. funny like Panera Bread went cashless and then they just got ransomware hacked last week or something, and they couldn't process any payments. We're cashless, and it's glorious. And they're like, cash only. And they're like, but wait, you said, forget what we said. All right, we test the new hide light. Let's see. Did you fix your headlight, boo-boo, Todd? Yeah, best I could. Yeah, it's fine. It's only this... right on the front nose of the ship. Yeah, no, 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 no. This, this Millennium Falcon just has high beams. It was an option. Maybe it's the oils in my fingers getting on the brass parts that's keeping the pick in place from grabbing them that well. Could be. My greasy little mitts. Turn my lights down here. Oh, Bruce, you're going to start an old school Falcon from the 90s? <laughs> Have fun with fitment. Uh, yeah. All right, let's Have fun with thickness. Yeah. Boop. There we go. 
Yeah, because uh, MPC uh, retooled their Falcon a little bit um, recently, and it has thinner side panels now. Todd, your headlight looks bright. Yeah, it's really, is that a warm really, white? Really no, no it's only a no. Blue white. Um, it's it's really not as white as I. It's really not as bright as you think. No, the I know the camera just blows tiny, it out. The hole is super tiny. You know, uh, if I bring these, if I br hang on, let me bring these lights way back up. See if I can get it to focus on that little tiny light. It's really tiny. Come on, focus. Do it. Okay. Let me unmute my second one. Switch this camera. It's very small. I have a little bit of glow coming out there. I'll fix that. But That's about the right size. That's very small. That's good. Now you're going to have to drill a hole on the other side to make it match. Yeah. That looks good, Todd. It does. Yeah, you just got to draw it like Donnie said. Just draw it the other side to make it match. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. You need to make it oh, these photo etch are so cool with the light bleeding through them. Right? Did you notice, though, the ones in the cockpit don't do that? There you go. Now it's warm white. Nice. There you go. Why don't you just color Great. over it with yellow? Heck yeah. Yellow Sharpie, baby. Stick it in the hole. Well, You're just going to have to mask that when you paint it now. <clears throat> this photo watch is maddening, maddeningly small. Is that number 11? Yep, that's part 11. Where do you fit? It's coming out that side. <sighs> Nothing like the screeching sound of using that glass file on that Bandai plastic before. <laughs> that was so painful. Ken said it's looking good, Todd. Thanks, sir. Yeah, that old Falcon from the 90s, though, Bruce. Um, she's she's too... Uh, she's very thick in the side panels. And MPC, two the re The re-release... They thinned out the model kit. You know, like the old one's like a double stuffed Oreo, and the new one's like an Oreo thins. How does that deckle go on there? There's... <laughs> Bruce has got four of them. <laughs> oh my god. You sound like Buck. Yeah. Like, I got four. T. That round part goes that way. Okay. No. No. Yeah. Uh, what'd you do now, Todd? I was using tulip, and you know how tulip is, right? Oh, it just gets everywhere. Oh, got it all over my fingers, and then I got it right on this thing on the outside. There you go. You know, so. Well, that just means it's working. Yep. Looks like a blast damage to me. Uh, you still got layers and layers of paint to put over that, so. Oh, yeah. But that's okay, because. How the hell am I supposed to paint these little details? Are you kidding me? With a brush. Oh, my God. I don't know, Donnie. My side panels, they light up a little bit. They're okay. Yeah, they line up a little bit. Got to do a lot of fill-in black painting to light block the rest of the uh, console when you're done with the photo etch. Yeah, I did that already. And the decals. <laughs> I did it before the decals. <laughs> you light blocked it before the decals. Right, because you don't want to paint over the decals. 
That sounds like a good idea, Donnie. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Another text message. Uh, here. Now it's 9.50. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this one more decal on and then call it. Well, okay, well, I got all the photo etch on the cockpit, the console, not the cockpit. Oh, please, with the text, stop it. Just turn the, the, the sound off on your phone, and there you go. Nobody will text no, you. No, no, I, I can't turn the sound off on my phone. There's emergencies. Dog could have a seizure. My dad could have a health Scare, I don't know. Cats and dogs playing together. Pure chaos. Oh, Jesus, stop it. Oh, what? he's just being a... One of my friends, he's just being a dick now. <laughs> he's, he's just constantly texting me. Like, you know where they send, like, one letter at a time to say something? I don't oh, know if you God. have... Yeah. He's one of those people. I love the guy, but, oh, my God. All right. Tony, should I just spray this whole thing black, basically? Well, the only problem is then you'll spray all the areas where the light's supposed to come out. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Why do you have to be smart and shit? I uh, have to be bright. That I went correct. through that thought process already. I was like, oh, it'd be so much easier to just, oh, yeah, I can't do that. There you go. Not light leak. There you go. It's good. Nice. It's good. A little, little headlight down in there. What'd you tool up the front of it? Um, I actually got this all mounted. I got the lighting and everything mounted it like the way it was, and then I tuliped everything around it, and then I just popped that on top. Okay. Um, I did put a little piece of heat shrink over the end of it and heat shrinked a little tube on the end of the... the. Uh, so I used a lighthouse LED. Yeah. Right? I have... Uh, I don't know where they are. Basically, they're, they're little lighthouses. Little 1.8s. Uh, and I just put a piece of heat shrink on it that was real short, cut it, and basically made, turned it into a tube on the end of the LED. Stuck the tube, because the tube showing out the end is exactly like the studio model. I was trying to figure out why the studio model had a tube around the light. Probably they did it for the same thing, to keep that light from blasting the model parts. So, that'll work. Apparently the ship in 77 had LEDs in it. No, but I mean, a halogen light with light bleed. The light's a light. It did have some LEDs in it. There's LEDs showing in some of those pictures. That had to be when they redid it. You no, sure? they had LEDs in the 70s. I, I kind of feel like they wouldn't have used LEDs. Why not? I just have a feeling. Well, if you look on... Uh, if they were going to use LEDs, I think it was did, Star Wars. Why did, they, why did they bother having fans in the back to keep all the lighting of the <clears throat> cool? Well, well because see, L LEDs, LEDs weren't as bright back then. Right. They used the LEDs for like cockpit lighting and stuff, but anything that had to be really bright was regular bulbs. Yeah, so uh, according to lightbulbsdirect.com, by the 1970s, companies were mass producing LED light yes, bulbs for yes. as little as five cents each. And everything from calculators, watches, radios, and telephones would soon use some form of LED. There's a website that I found. I think it was StarWars.com. I can't remember now. 
but it explains why those three LEDs are sticking up. There was actually a console sitting on top of those with a little screen that those LEDs lit that got broke off at some point. Yeah, and the 80s were considered the second generation of LEDs as they got brighter. I looked that up because I couldn't figure out why in the hell is there three LEDs just sticking up in the air. Yeah. In 1962, Nick... Okay, okay, okay. Holniak Jr., the father of the light-emitting diode, <laughs> invented the first LED that produced visible red light. Let me quick. I'm, I'm getting ready. If Ian keeps going, I'm going to mute him. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, you know, Todd made a very bold statement with they didn't have LEDs in 77. I never said that. I said I don't think they used LEDs. You and Donnie can fight over that one. I don't care anymore. Oh, God. So. Go get him, Donnie. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Oh, my. What the hell is part 25 for? What are these skinny little... <gasps> no. The little hand controls? Are you kidding me? Yep. I noticed You're the kidding paragraphics me. has the... The, the, little, the little handles that are up in the top of the cockpit, like the ones yeah. that slide... Yeah, that's like, what I was yeah. talking about just a minute ago. Yeah, I'm not. Uh -huh. No. Yeah, you, you build the little box that goes up there, and then you attach all those little handles to it. Doesn't oh it even my. have the dice? You can hang the dice from the one of those handles. Yeah. 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 Where, are the, where are the photo etch dice then, Todd? They, they're they part of the kit. There's dice? I know there is some in the green strawberry kit. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. I don't know if the paragraphics says it or not. I don't know if they're in the paragraphics or not. How do they make fuzzy photo etch dice? I don't know. But they're they not did. fuzzy. There's my photo etch. Right. Well, not bad. Got the mandible. mandible. No, there's no dice. Okay, well. Well, it's getting a wee bit late. We've been going on for three hours here, pretty much, so. Yeah, yep. we can wrap up and see what, see what everybody's done and... Sounds like a plan. That French dip in there that I get to go eat. Oh, that sounds good. It does. Well, I didn't do a whole lot. I, I got uh, cold Chinese food upstairs waiting for me. I finished adding the details to the cocktail. I already tube, ate. Added the photo etch. The rest of these details down here. So the cockpit tube is basically done. Did the maintenance pits for this left. I think it's the left manable, isn't it? You start on the left side. I don't know. I feel like this would be more focused if I brought it down but didn't zoom it in. But I don't know. It just feels blown out to me. Uh, and then added this with a headlight. It's lit. It's in there. It's still running. We got a little headlight in the, our mandible. Added that 3D printed part with the holes in it. You're right. It does have a groove for lighting. It's like it was made for it. Yeah. yeah. In our in our car chassis. Right there. When I saw that groove, I was like, "Oh, they were gonna put a light in this damn thing, and they decided not to because they didn't turn it on in the movie or whatever." Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this camera. I'm getting kind of tired of it. But Todd, you just need to factory reset that Sony. I'm half tempted to do it. Yeah. Just like back to defaults. Well, the fact that I can bring the camera up like this doesn't mean that I, I really don't need the wide angle as much anymore, you know. But I should be able to bring it down to this, and it should be able to focus. I mean, it's, and it seems like it's kind of kind of getting there. Kind of it's getting a little, a little blown bit. out with the white plastic, probably. Yeah, it is focusing, though. Yeah. I, I can, it's I the can... exposure, I think, more so than the focus. Well, I think the, I think the camera is actually trying to... No, it's... it's... Shutter speed. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. Camera things. Yeah, so did that, did that. Car chassis, blurry. Of course. Sorry, bud. Anyway, next. Who's next? I'm clicking on Ian because that's what I had. The mouse was on. There we <laughs> go. Well, I got my, uh, got my photo etch. Oh, here we go. Let me just take that light out of there. We got, we got, focus, you son of a. There we go. Focus is in the middle of the screen. There you go. 
we got all the photo etch on the uh, the console, and you know we got the lights, and they'll shine through the photo etch, completely blown out. And then we've got. I really didn't get a whole lot done, but we got our little seats painted here. So those look pretty good. And in the back seats, we got the black NATO black base coat down on those. Painted the the tub, just black primer. Cool. And uh, figured out uh, the wiring schematics for these little extra four pin connectors which is positive and negative so that's nice to know and we'll have two for our headlights and we'll have two more for our cockpit uh, console lights so that way we're not over driving this box with too many leds and then we'll see what we do with the engines i'm not quite sure yet but yeah i think i'm that's... just gonna take the box apart and put an arduino in it or or you can do that I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, one of these ports would put out enough voltage to run some light strip. I just don't know how much light strip, you know? Like, amperage. But I'm worried it would overload the uh, res the pre-resistored circuit on those outputs to run Maybe. a whole bunch of this stuff. Oh, that's probably too much current draw. Yeah, so I'm just going to separately... I'm going to power these. I'm going to piggyback these parallel off the USB power feed to the battery box that I come up with. And there we go. That's it for me. Who's next? next? Go ahead, Jordan. Okay. Oh, we got a, someone's got a big him. There you go. <laughs> I wired up my headlight as well. Got the, uh, one millimeter, uh, well, what do you call fiber it? Fiber optic. Fiber optic all wired up. I did some light blocking on the inside just to make sure. Um, and then just kind of working on finishing up the, uh, getting the side here all taken care of. And I only lost two parts. <laughs> so, only. <laughs> only no, two you, parts. Won't, you won't notice them. No, no. I already don't notice them. Uh, the bigger thing for me is the fact that I was able to get something successfully lit up by myself, and I'm pretty damn excited about that. So, yeah, that's what I got done yeah, tonight. That's good. Congratulations. Thank you. World's best cup of coffee. Yes. Seattle's best. Now leaves Donnie. Donnie, you can pick yourself. I'm at my fridge. I got it. The photo edge on the console. Oh, that looks fantastic. She's a Got it lit great. and got some of the decals on. Did you put all the little handles on yet? No. Oh, wow. boy. I figured if I put the handles on, it'd be impossible to get the decals on. Well, you put the handles on after the decals. Right. Yeah, but then you got to paint them. Yeah. Oh, boy. I might just paint go handleless. Them. Paint them first and then put them on. Nah, oh boy, Daniel, it's so good, man. Thank you. I still got to color the little screen. Yeah, just a little dab of, uh, like, to me, a clear green or blue or something, I guess. Yeah. And uh, that, you, that round you, you circle that on the front is supposed to be green, too, I think, or red. I think the green or red one. I think there's a lot remember. of red, light, red, big red balls and stuff in the first one. That looks awesome. Dude. I have no lights in my console. I'd regret it now. No. That's a Donnie that's Donnie work of art right there. Yes indeedy. Well hey, if you guys wanna if you well, want to hose you. Yeah, awesome work, dude. Uh if you want to hose your uh your Z V one just factory reset it. There you go. It won't turn on anymore. What? You're kidding. Well it comes up and it says English and then it, the screen immediately goes black. That's it. Oh you gotta put the regular battery and memory card in it maybe. It oh work. yeah, because you got it hooked up to uh, HDMI, don't you? Yeah, there's a battery, like a eliminator you have in yours. Yeah, but the battery eliminator shouldn't matter. Yeah, but he's probably I, gonna I, have to unplug the HDMI. Yeah, take out the HDMI and then uh, put a oh, memory yeah, card works. in it. No, just the HDMI is all it needed. Oh, okay. 
Because I think that's a setting in there. Oh, and he hadn't no, no. said it yet, so it was going, what? Area, date, and time. I don't want to miss that. Enter. Bogota. Yes, I live in Bogota. You never know. What day is today? 10th. Uh, 10th. April 10th. What's today, Wednesday? Yep. God, it's it's this. Falcon Day. Falcon Day. So yeah, that's what we're doing. For the next year or so, today is Falcon Day. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yes, exactly. Every Wednesday for the rest of my damn life. Ugh. I gotta paint the mini figs. Oh jeez. Oh, painting the figs is fine. Oh, yeah, of course you say that. All right, guys. Well, I got to go wash my hands big time. Um. Yeah. Let's get, <laughs> let's get out of here. We'll be back next week, you know, for another installment of, you know, chaos and slowly making progress on getting this Falcon built. That's right. You got to make sure right. you have the light. Hey, Alexander. Thanks for stopping hey, in. Hey, Alexander. Still yeah, working on the hey, Alexander. Yep. He, yeah, he will. He will when he gets to, uh, when he gets to, I'm sure, Friday. Oh, you're almost done with it. I'm pretty close. Yeah, yeah. I just gotta. I, I'm actually, I'm actually doing some touch-ups on the base. Uh, Dave's 3D print was way better than mine, but it still had some stuff from FDM printing I had to fill. Well, that's normal, ain't it? Yeah, it is. His was way better than mine. All right. I guess that's All it right, for guys. tonight, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, uh, next week, same bad time, same bad channel. Oh, no, not building Batman. <laughs> but, yeah, whatever. You, you get yeah. what I meant. Good and, progress, uh, and hopefully we'll see Steve next week. Hopefully we'll see you next time. week a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Don't that's forget right. to tip your waitress. Tip your waitress. Links are below for everybody. You know, sub to everybody. they got good channels. Yeah. And, uh, and we'll see you all later. Everybody wait. All right, guys. Bye. Adios, everybody. Bye.